Let's try that again. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles. And Erlen's here. And hey make sure you watch at 60 frames a second, because that's what the Atari 2600 operates at. Oh, can you switch so we can... What do we need to do? Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's all the good. chat, yeah. Um, yeah, I put up that little very 2600 It's so beautiful, Christmas. man. Yeah, and I okay, have, cool. have the snow it's... falling in the oh. room. How is it snowing oh, in such a localized happened? operation? Wait, localized isn't this going to damage some of your electronics, James? <laughs> Aurora Borealis in this, contained within this room? That's amazing. It's pretty, it's pretty epic <laughs> shit, man. It is. It is snowing inside. I thought I'd uh, add that. It's a lot of fun. Got some decorations. Got my sweater. Yeah, I got my plaid. Got his plaid, his Christmas plaid. <laughs> 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 ah. <laughs> Indoor snow is possible. I guess if you have a snowblower and yeah, artificial it, snow. Yeah, it just gets everywhere. It's like styrofoamy stuff. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I heard from like, the special features of the Fellowship of the Rings that when they shot the scene on the mountain that was mostly uh, oh. little spuckles of like styrofoam. Soap. And everybody on Sometimes. like the commentary was just like, yeah, that shit got everywhere. Like I came home and I couldn't, like it gets it's in your hair. Styrofoam? And, because yeah. that would like literally stick from static that's what you. they said because oh it gets God. covered like the set with just like s <laughs> these these things because sometimes they use that soap bubbles yeah and that falls slowly right oh because um, that was they're supposed to imitate like cause remember they're like on the mountain when they've got and to trudge just, through it yeah right? and they're like yeah. climbing up and that's you have to use that and that's right when they're like he's like let's go into the mountain and all that <laughs> shit's going down yeah Oh, uh, there was amazing footage of Hobbits and Aragorn. They didn't use it at actual snow. Oh, yeah. Well, they are up in the amazing. mountains yeah. in, in New Zealand, so there is actual snow there. Depends what time of year. It would be a nightmare, though, rolling 35 millimeter film in the oh middle of the God. snow. I mean, people do it all the time. Warm. but They do, it's... like in the uh, Revenant, right? They, yeah. they, that was probably oh. all or mostly... Oh, that was all digital, thankfully. The all Revenant. the snow? Um, no, sorry. I mean, the actual like shooting of it was no, but yeah, that yeah, was real. Yeah. That was real. Oh, you're talking about the the, the, camera. the, the camera? No, and but stuff, like, yeah. but no, that was a real. I don't think they did anything with that. <laughs> that was fake, no. except for the bear. I know, or, Not a real bear. Or eating the the fake <laughs> innards of. Yeah, because uh, I believe or, or he's didn't, or, uh, ve vegetarian. And it or had didn't to he be say it was real? I don't know. Something was going remember. on and on. Yeah. Anyways, well, we're today we're track. doing uh, a holiday uh, special where we play all holiday themed games. Yeah, man. And we had a late edition. That's why we're a little bit late. Also, it's sort of my fault too. For, I was running a bit late. It coincided. <laughs> it, it if if I didn't have that late, then it would be his fault. But <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it just worked out well. Uh, we added one more. I, I don't uh, game have and... Starbucks today, but the the cost was waiting for like fifteen minutes for everybody to stop talking and finally uh, make some coffee uh, and... uh. uh games today we have uh frosty hey, which is not stay frosty which we also are playing stay frosty too but uh frosty which is a new berserk hack by ice bosta damn i'm excited for that uh, he just sat on my arm that i'm drinking coffee with <laughs> you don't need that arm oh there's a package erlen entertain the, the crowd here okay man tell them a christmas story Okay, so I was just talking to James about this, actually, and he was like, dude, save this for the show. You have to talk about this on the show, because I'm not going back home for Christmas this year. I'm staying in Vancouver, which is the first year that I've um, ever done that, and that's actually a pretty big deal for me, because my family always wants me to come back and all this stuff, but I've just found this. It's like, I'm from Edmonton, Alberta, and um, Edmonton, Alberta is, uh, you got to understand that Edmonton, Alberta is regarded as the most cold city with the highest population in the world because we get down to minus 40 degrees Celsius. Presence. Yeah, live unboxing, maybe. We'll see. Go ahead. Yeah, oh, we get down to minus 40 degrees Celsius. And fair enough. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's where it coincides the two, uh, yeah. the two lines. It starts to like intersect. And so the issue is, is when I go back, it's so goddamn cold. And I got out of Edmonton for a reason because, you know, I love Vancouver. And I've been in Vancouver now for eight years. It's about a thousand times better. I'd but say, more expensive. I'd, I'd say so, sadly. <laughs> um, the expensive part, not the great part. But no, so I, I, I don't think I'm going back this year, which my family is fairly upset with me about. <laughs> um, but I am But I also just like, I actually don't really like Christmas that much. I'm not, I've never really mm. enjoyed Christmas. Christmas has been the least favorite Maybe um, you can now holiday. start making it better. I have to, yeah. By, by 
get making new memories. Yeah, and, and the, happy times at Christmas. And just in the reality of it is, is, I come from like a divorced family, so Christmas was always like when my parents would try to negotiate and leverage oh, each God. other, and I was just always in the middle of something. Like they would, and then it was that thing where people would go like they would complain to you, um, but at the same time, weirdly, be like, I feel so sorry for you that we kind of have a better time, and you know what it is? It's your mom's fault that she's <laughs> fucking. You know that you go over to dad's place oh, and he's like, God. I wish it was a better time for you. But it's it's your dad's fault, you know. It was, just, it was always like I was always in the middle of something, and oh my god! So I'm just happy that it's uh, bringing us down. No, man, I'm just, <laughs> this is yeah. just the truth. Yeah. So I'm just really I'm really looking forward to having a Christmas now that's gonna be like Better, um, yeah. just I I can just enjoy myself and not have to be in the middle of something. Well, let's make this part of it. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man! <laughs> like, that's the first good memory. Mm -hmm. um, thanks everybody in the chat for tuning in. So many people yeah, today. Yeah, so many people. Uh, Thrust twenty six, Arena Foot, the D Train thirty seven, Repentless VG, whose game we're playing today. <laughs> S Ramirez two thousand eight, Carl G, uh, Paper Mario, uh, Real Cafe Man. Damn, I've never name. heard about no. that man. Maybe, 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 maybe your cafe it. can lurker. take. Go faster than 15 Welcome. minutes. <laughs> Some, a, a lurker, so somebody that was that does watch a lot. Oh shit! But doesn't type. So welcome to welcome, uh, welcome to the typing world. Anytime you want to ask us questions, throw yeah. stuff out there. We'd love to hear it, dude. Spiceware, welcome back. He was here last week. Uh, who else? Uh, DNS Debro was here briefly. Len McAllister. Uh, no, there's Splendid Nut, RC7E, DJ Mips. Damn, so many people. Ground Trooper, did I say that? Dios Kilos 80. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Um, Ground Trooper just resubscribed to Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Look at that. 15 months. Have we been broadcasting 15 months? We must Mu be. Yeah, I mean, if you subscribe for 15 months, yeah. hell yeah. I think we're um, like four months short of two years. So Holy he's been cow. following the whole time subscribing the whole time thank you very much and i think that's it for now um uh continuing with the games first um uh 2019 xmas mm -hmm. invaders um by repentless vg who's uh peter uh who i'll get his name later his last name because he uh told me how to, how to pronounce it but that's lower so i won't pronounce his last name he's also known as otis p driftwood Online. What a badass name. <laughs> Otis P. Driftwood. And I don't he explains know what... his name uh, later. So that's okay, good. Otis I P. got Driftwood. some theories. I'm yeah? into it. Okay. Uh, Reindeer Rescue uh, by Bob Montgomery, uh, a.k.a. V-Dub Bobby, and Nathan Strom Graphics, who is uh, regular here. Man, and... I love this image of setting up an extra monitor on a ladder. Just, to, <laughs> just I love that's it. precarious. Just balancing it so that you can keep... Oh, man. That's, that's great. A... That's a, that's a true dedication. <laughs> I had to hit the KVM so I can type in chat. Oh, okay. So you've got uh, two computers. You know, a keyboard, video, mouse, switcher. That's a KVM. Oh, okay. So you can have the same keyboard, same mouse, and switch between two different computers. Oh, I saw a friend of mine had a setup like that. They were yeah. trying to convince me to do it, and I was like, uh, I'll, yeah. just, I'll just have two it's keyboards. It's very specialized. Yeah. <laughs> And last but not least, Stay Frosty 2 by Spiceware. Daryl Spice, Spice Jr. I love it's, it. It's one of the best uh, platformers on the 2600. It is hard as hell as well. Ooh. Uh, I've only made it to level 10 out of 32 levels. And then those 32 levels repeat four so times. So we're going to make it to level 11 today, folks. 11 for <laughs> sure. I want to thank the Twitch subscribers who support this Where show. Where the Kanuka games? Kanuka. Try again with that pronunciation. Chan Chanuka? No. Keep going. Chan Chanuka? No. Chanka? Uh, Hanukkah. Hanukkah. I'm a s oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I just realized I am. Oh jeez. Oh, it's fine. Oh, I, you spelled it no. wrong. Oh no. Okay. Wrong. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Whoa. That would have been. My that would have been dark. I just realized that anti-Semitic. Oh, all that you're, stuff. You're, you're canceled. I You're am canceled. canceled. Yeah. Menorah Madness. Is that a game? Menorah. It's got... If it, if, oh, oh, is it? Oh, my God. I just... That'd that's the amazing. greatest title of all time. <laughs> it's got to be something. Dreidel Dungeon? Oh, those... Somebody take oh, those man. two you names. You guys just caught me. They... That's the most embarrassed I've ever been on this show. <laughs> unable to pronounce Hanukkah. Well, you spelt it wrong. That's all it's good, all, though. It's, it's still... Fun. Oh, it's so good. Uh, <laughs> there's a game in my holiday homebrew book. Is there? Huh? 
a Hanukkah? Menorah Madness? Menorah Madness sounds amazing. I, I want to, dude, and you're like, and your life is just candles that are just like, you know. You, <laughs> you have to keep the candles exactly lit. Exactly one candle. You have to keep the light, <laughs> lighting right. the candles because they keep going out because somebody keeps blowing them. Or there's, and oh, you find like matches you and you can light like one candle. That's right. It writes itself. It's like the hearts in Zelda. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Twitch subscribers, thank you so much to these people. Coconut81, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Ice Boast, Johnny WC23, Carl G, Croco2600, Matthias, JG Santos, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strom, RC70, Repentless VG, Sir Catlegs, Spartan581, Spiceware, S. Ramirez2008, the D Train 37, the Welshman 89, Tiki Dan K. Dude, holiday combat <laughs> menorah <laughs> style. Uh, we'll have to do that next year. <laughs> Just hitting motherfuckers with a menorah, <laughs> lighting wow. them on fire. It's a game, sell it. Um, oh. And you can support the show too as well and subscribe for free if you link yours to Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe on this channel and help support us as so many people do and those people are in the chat. Wow. It's great. Um, so I don't have a poll question, but I do have kind of a Christmas related video game question. Oh, cool. Um, I know a lot of people get video game consoles for Christmas. Oh. Did you ever get a console for Christmas or did you ever have consoles? That's a good. Well, you were a kid. I oh, mean, I had... like somebody else buying it for um... you. I always had to actually weirdly, um, I think my PlayStation 2 was my Christmas one. Yeah. All my other consoles I had to buy myself. I saved yeah. up for them, but I got a PlayStation 2 for Christmas. And that was because we were living in Scotland at the time. Oh, and I wow. didn't really have any <laughs> friends, and it was a tough time in my life. And my parents were like, we got we to gotta get this kid a friend. And they're like, <laughs> PlayStation 2, Sony. A robot friend. But I, but I love that. Really, yeah. that was an amazing console. That would be um, a pal. Version. Um, a PAL version, yeah, and it was <laughs> so a real because before bring it to North I went from N sixty four to PlayStation two, and that's, that's a, big a jump. huge that's jump, a big jump, and even just the style, right? To be able to just put in CDs instead yeah. of putting in like these cartridges, cartridges yeah. um, and then also just like the three D game potential, and it was much better. And also, PS two lasted for a really long time. That was it's a one of the longest lasting systems, like all the way up to PS four when that first came out. They were still making PS two games. For South America, yeah, um, they were football games, soccer, yeah, um, because it just, it just had the longevity, um, in many many places. Yeah. I didn't get any consoles or anything really expensive for Christmas. Yeah, I think in our household money came like this. Yeah, and it was when the money was coming in that's when the the things the big things got purchased. So Christmas was just random small things. Yeah. And I never had any consoles as a kid. I had a Commodore 64, which I thank f I, I would rather have had yeah. more than anything else because it was a computer and a game system. I learned a lot about computers and programming, and it really started me on my path wow. to learning about computers, and which helps me to this day because I can diagnose just about any kind of problem, like software, hardware-ish. Yeah. Not like fixing hardware, but like if a piece of hardware is having problems, I can say that's the problem absolutely and i can you know install os's install drivers diagnose problems and you know um because a lot of people who work on computers don't actually know how they even work like yeah it's so true it's if something outside of the program that they're using breaks they're like uh i don't know, I know help, help 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 but you know i put my own computers i've always put my own computers together from like the 386 yeah. onward um so yeah, I never, I didn't get any uh, consoles for, yeah. and I, I just got my Commodore 64 randomly throughout the year. Um, I, there was this guy named, um, we, we had this weird like family friend named Ziad, and he was a, uh, a computer engineer. Yeah. And every Christmas, he was really like a little on the spectrum. He was an old friend of my dad's, and basically every Christmas, what he would do is he'd come and he'd want to like. Um, as his present would be to fix everyone's computers. Oh, that's a good present. Because he was a professional IT guy, but it was also, I think, his way to, like, relate to the world. I think uh, he really struggled to, like, do the Christmas thing, and he had a kid that he lost in divorce. It was, like, a sad oh, thing. But, but what happened, though, was, like, I would always hang out with him. So I, from the earliest years, yeah. I, would when that was the first time I got to do that stuff you're talking about, is we would pull apart, like, you yeah. know, every tower in the house, everyone's computer, and we would go to, like, Grandma's place, <laughs> and we'd just, like, be pulling up apart her computer and I'd always go and to me that was so much more fun than like trying to like you know try to talk to adults and not sure because I was a little oh, yeah. kid 
It's probably, um, probably like a, a piece together game, Lego oh, pieces yeah. and stuff. Where does this part and go? And I thought it? it was fascinating. And it was always old computers that like... Right. We don't... And I, he, my job would be I'd have like the duster. So I'd have to... Because uh, like, <laughs> he'd be like... He'd always pull out a computer and he'd be like, oh, the first thing we're going to do is get rid of the dust. And that alone is going to make this work amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because it would overheat um, and maybe crash. And yeah, it would, it would help a lot. And he had like a specific duster because he hated the ones that were like... The compressed okay. air, because he said you get moisture in. You do. So we have one. You do it the wrong way. You do it too close, and you hold it the wrong way. There's moisture. He in. had like this hose that you would like put like a like a like a special canister to, and just oh. like throw air out. Anyways, wow. that's like a computer Christmas memory. So not for Christmas, but we had a family Atari uh, 2600 bought an NES for myself with birthday money. Carl G. Uh, S. Ramirez didn't get any sad face, just like me. Uh, I think I got a 5200 for Christmas. RC70. I suppose it says, uh, my uncle got brothers and me a 2600 for Christmas. We got carts for Christmas, Carl G. We got a, a for Hanukkah. For Hanukkah. <laughs> um, so kind of redeem us. Marina Foote says 2600 Junior for Christmas 86. Vectress, Whoa, Chris, Christmas 82. That's a good Christmas. C64. 64, my birthday. That's Ramirez. If Marina Foote, uh, Coco 2, Christmas 84. Uh, uh, asteroid. I like the asteroids themed sweater, James. Way too low. <laughs> yeah, I saw it on a, a YouTube channel a long time ago. Oh, he doesn't do YouTube anymore. He's on a different platform. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember what his name is. Crazy, crazy dude. I loved watching him, but he couldn't make any money, and it was his full time job yeah. on YouTube, so he switched over to Amazon. Uh, Spiceware 2600 with Space Invaders for Xmas uh, family gift. That's a good one. Excellent, excellent pronunciation of what yeah uh, we'll take it <laughs> <laughs> um so uh that was that was kind of my question that's um, a good question man um and somebody left a, a nice comment uh, oh. for us on youtube uh is ooh, i can't pronounce that right name Guilher rosso Guilher. yeah um yesterday uh, it says you guys should have more and more subscribers you guys are very good at explaining everything from scratch. Great video, fun to watch. Well, thank you very much. Well, shit, man. We try to do our That's best to, to entertain and educate. Yeah. <laughs> and have fun playing games well, as well. Yeah, my my whole thing is just show up, do it, let go, move on to the next thing, you know? That's <laughs> right. No worry about it. Have if some I, fun. If I can. <laughs> Imagine you've been born in 2580 when you would have been... It's been 20 you've been able to experience christmas in the year 2600 fuck yeah there you go paper mario that's thinking ahead that's thinking ahead of course yeah. i don't think anybody by then will even remember the 2600 it'd be such a distant memory yeah what would that be related to like some wooden toy yeah, totally. In, in the 1500s. Well, it's, but dude, in, in it's, the Netherlands or something. It's very possible though that people might because it is the beginning of a That's lot of, you know, gaming. If, gaming what and is the, gaming the technical be revolution. In 500 years. You know, and you think that like the 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 things that start technology are like games, pornography, like it yeah. tends to be stuff that's like entertainment, entertainment. Yeah. and then that evolves into the utilitarian stuff that like, you know, the things that are like, you know. Yeah. So it's possible someone, you know, I could just imagine a scene of like you know, in the basement of, 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 of like, you know, it's yeah. a snowstorm in the... They'll still be reissuing <laughs> Pac-Man games and, uh, yeah, these old, old standbys. <laughs> Ancient man them. was obsessed with the eating of pills <laughs> and right. the chasing of ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, there'll still be Ataris, but no CRTs, yeah. Unless somebody keeps making them. That's true. The, the, it might just also be just like a hardware, like you just hold, like, you know? Oh, uh, you'd be injecting things in your eyes. Pff, yeah, like it's that. some crazy <laughs> shit. Uh, 2600 RGB update. I've ordered the new uh, voltage regulator from Tim Worthington, the guy That's who made news. the RGB mod. Um, so it's on its way here from Australia. Mm -hmm. Could be as early as two weeks. Could be longer. Hopefully two weeks. I can get it done over the holidays and be renewed back in yeah. January um, with uh, the proper Atari 2600 back again. If that's the problem, we don't know. Hopefully. Step by step. Yeah. That's the real Christmas present. I'm hoping for a CRT and vector display resurgence. Be the change you want to see. <laughs> yeah. So let's get on to the first game after all that blah, blah, blah. And, uh, oh. and for some reason, 
escape doesn't work anymore on my uh oh my so God. there there's I'm no escape god damn it i'm gonna just stop this oh yeah control q um yeah i was fiddling around trying to get the second button mm. working on the joystick because stay frosty has two buttons um that you can use with the genesis for some reason my escape button yeah while in a game does not exit to the menu anymore so if anybody can tell me how to get that back that would be super super awesome you have a lot of time to uh think about that <laughs> so the first game mm -hmm. we're going to get into is frosty which is a 2019 berserk hack we played a, a number of berserks uh, hacks recently oh yeah man so Definitely. we'll be well used to playing this uh we don't really need much explanation but um and it is named frosty it is nothing to do with f uh stay frosty um uh, oh it's in my hacks uh, that we'll be playing later. It's just related to Frosty the Snowman, yeah. right? And that's that's where all the name is coming from. But this is by our own Iesposta. Iesposta! And it's got Frosty music. Berserk. Arpeggiated Frosty music. I love it. <laughs> Let's listen to it for a second. And he's doing his best with the atonal sounds that are built into the 2600. It's, it's more of a free jazz. Uh, <laughs> so great. <laughs> um, so, we've got some options here. Bonus life, 1000, sunshine. Let's put everything on. Invincible? No. Let's not make it invincible. Yeah. And uh, eight, eight way shooting? Sure. And he's got a little, little guy at the bottom. Very cute. Frosty at the top, and it shines. Watch it. Here it comes. Very much like uh, demos. So let's get into it. Start? Okay. Music straight from a Sid track. Oh! And he's got the uh, fireballs. Uh. Oh! He's <laughs> <sighs> got the fireballs from Stay Frosty. Mm. Oh, damn it. It's just this... Got to get used to that joystick. Oh, it just takes a second. He's got a little uh, head nod going on as he moves. Very cute. No. Oh, oh, bouncing snowball. That's Damn, awesome. Damn, that's the evil auto of this oh, one. Oh, he's got white fire. Um, fire, depending on what it's burning and the temperature of fire, it can change Where all different that? colors. It can be orange, red, blue, white. No, can't be white. Run away. I like the movements a lot faster. At least I understand the concept of these games a bit better. Yeah. Oh, right in there. Oh! oh. So this is from, this is a brand new Rough. game. It's okay. from November 20, uh, can you press That's one? it, yeah. nine. November 25th, 2019. It's a very, very new game. Just like a week old, just over a week. It's a 32K F4 game. F4. Um, uh, by uh, Mike Haas, a.k.a. Esposta. Uh, Mike. You can download it from the Atari Age forums. He's even themed the mazes, some of them. That one had uh, Christmas trees in it. Or, I love it. Uh, pine trees. They don't have to be Christmas. They can be outdoors. I guess they turn into Christmas Whoa. trees when you decorate them and bring them inside and kill them. That is true. <laughs> it's, it's a... Chop them down and kill them. It's a weird thing that we that we like equate like trees and flowers and stuff for like love. And it's like here's this thing that I've I've taken from its normal environment and we'll slowly okay. watch it die. <laughs> and and it wilt. symbolizes love. <laughs> I try and buy. Um, it's like whoa. <laughs> plants that are still in the pot. Sometimes. Yeah, man. Potted plants are like it's like here's something we can like watch grow. Yeah, <laughs> which is better watch rather die. than die. <laughs> Um, you said with the tree. Actually, a lot of um, I was even like talking to like what? Oh, oh it just appeared you have to instantly. move because it appears where right. you start. So it was you talking. Gotta Whoa! Oh, oh, look at him! He's just killing you after he's you wailing on me. I was talking to my boss and and, and like because I work at this college and they're like, we need to stop with these like real trees because no one takes accountability for them. Everybody wants the tree. But nobody wants to like clean it up and That's like right. deal with it. Everyone's they like, toss no. it in the alley. 
Yeah, and, so, like, and somebody there's else like needles it. everywhere, and oh, all these God. people are like stock cleaning it up. It's like, and I think when you're like, if it's your house, it's one thing, but let me. Like, I was like, that was so yeah. funny that it's like, you know. Oh, he's killing the other guy's forehead. Thanks, friends. I would move out of there. That guy's gonna come soon. Uh, whoa, whoa, that was one pixel oh, away. Oh, it's so hard with this. So I was supposed to post uh, oh, I'm Omega Matrix. Help me with the original uh, Atari Berserk. Okay, so 2550 is the best I think I've ever done in this. They almost made 2600. Hey, uh, Omega Matrix, help me expand the original Atari Berserk. This is a quick holiday hack that featuring uh, Frosty the Snowman. The Frosty song in the title option screen fit really nice. It loops endlessly. Enjoy. So you can use it as background music. Man, what are your typical Christmas things, James? Um, well, I come from a um, British background. Um, so there's lots of uh, British uh, traditions, I guess. At least I think they are. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've only been to Britain twice, um, the UK twice. And it wasn't with family, it was, uh, one was backpacking, one was wor working, filming. Um, but we had, Christmas morning was always um, waiting, a lot of waiting to open presents. Yeah. The, the parents had to get up, have their coffee, make some food. <laughs> uh, we were able to open the stockings, we had stockings, these are the stockings here. We were able to open those, so that kind of held us off. Especially if there was uh, chocolate in them, which there usually was. Some chocolate. Yeah, you're usually like... an orange. Um, uh, what kind of orange? Those, those really easy. Mandarin ones. oranges. Mandarin oranges. That's yep. The style. So the the taste of mandarin oranges in your mouth is Christmas. Um, Just one more. I'm gonna see if I can like actually get it better. Get 2600. You can reset all the keys and Stella just goes in the options, input, emulation, yeah, events I'm dialog. Get killed real soon. Thank James. you very much, uh, Thrust. I will do that after the show. Mm. I don't want to do it right now because I've got special controllers set yeah. up. So Whoa, I can, I dude, can there's exit. only one. What? Wow. Maybe the other ones are invisible? Easy level. Whoa. Oh. Um, but thank you very much, Thrust. I will do that after the show. Um, and then they would have their coffee. On, shoot that was angle. the big thing. Oh, they would have their coffee. And then, one by one, the presents were handed out, usually by my dad. Yeah, oh yeah. Father knows best kind yeah. of world. Here's one for you. We'd all wait, watch it being opened, go to the next one, which was good. Rather than everyone hears a bunch of presents all open it up and nobody sees what else everybody gets, and it's just like a consumer free for all, more, yeah. more so. Um, now, now after, you know, I'm not, you know, at home, living at home anymore. And you got, no, you got no, like, kids in your life, too, that are kind of there on, like, Christmas morning, either. Or do you? I don't know. That's a good what? question. What? Say that again? You got no kids in your life that are Oh, no, like... if cats. So we buy yeah. them presents. Catnip things. Yeah. Toys they can kick and run around with. They like that. It's yeah. kind of fun, so that works. But yeah, no, no, no terrible children. <laughs> <laughs> have to deal with. <laughs> yeah. Um, and now it's it's mostly going over to families' houses for dinner. You know, yeah. And that will be away this Christmas. Um, yeah, you're going to Ottawa. Going to Ottawa, where the in-laws are. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just moved. Um, oh. <laughs> See what I mean? This joystick's like. Jo this joystick's not super great for this well, it's, game once you figure it out it's good but it does yeah. sometimes like surprise you you it know does, it's just, it's super sensitive so yeah which I, I think is an advantage if you're used to it but like oh, when yeah. you're not used to it there's just gonna moments of like yeah because i got a little sister who is um she's turning eight mm. it's a totally different thing man christmas with oh, like a little yeah. kid is you see just it through the eyes of them um also, you just watch from the outside this sugar crash, this like <laughs> this insane adrenaline junkie. Like it's like the equivalent of someone jumping out of like an airplane, Jesus. like being like you know, because they're, they're just vibrating. Because for a little oh, kid, yeah. it's like you know, it's everything. This is the whole year. It's hardcore up. shit, man. It's like potent dopamine. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, it's so much fun. Oh you yeah, get all these free things and all so at once. much candy. And candy, it's like. And my dad reset. is just like, eat reset as reset much it. as you want. Terrible. It's it's the day to do it. So but she's I can't just... reset. You can just I die. took out the reset. Yeah. Because I bet you if you die again. 
Yeah, it's a fun little twist on it. I mean, it doesn't change the gameplay at all. Um, I like the movement of this one really, though. I like the, the speed in which you move. Yeah, it it's seems, a nice speed. In some ways, actually, this might be one of my favorite ones because it just seems it's a smooth run in one. Mm -hmm. um, I found some of the other ones tough because sometimes your guy's movement is really slow. Yes, and that is painful. Especially in this game because you're running away from this guy, so it's like if I feel slow, it's like... Yeah, not so much fun. I th I've seen better. the diagonal shots are in all the other ones too, I believe. All the other hacks we've played. But, but you might be right about the, like, the original. Like, the I, can original never no. I can never speak to that. No, no. Because we don't play yeah, original man. games <laughs> on this show very often. Once in a while as examples. But yeah. No, there's no diagonals on the original. Ooh, we gotta get that right. I gotta at least get 2600. And I guess, I guess, I guess, James, this season for me is just very melancholic. It's like right. this mixture of some of the nicest moments and some of the worst moments. And that's just what it's always been for me. I think that might be the case for, mm. for some other folks out there, too. Where I think so. Where it really is this real weird mixed bag. And I guess that's the... Because there's high expectations yeah. of this season and when they're not met by, by family. And, and, and I do, I'm convinced that, like, I, I, I had this girlfriend at one point. Um, so warm and nice. It also happens once a year. It's so That's true, true, man. I had this girlfriend who was um, from, like, kind of a more of a nuclear family. And for her, man, Christmas was just heaven. You know, because <laughs> right. it was like a whole family. And, like, everyone and was planned. Perfect. And, I, and I'm, I'm convinced that people who come from divorced families, it's just a different thing, you know? It is. It's, it's uh, like fundamentally different. Like, who's going to go where? where what day? Are you gonna be there? And then when you have like bitterness between those parents, it was just it's that's what it's so it's so it's when all that stuff culminated for us at least because I think it was like these you know. Jesus, well, I made twenty six hundred so. I'm yeah. Happy. yeah. Oh, one more line. Oh, he said. Uh, ah, uh, ah, run, run. I suppose it's like yo. Why does the player color go half line off and left quarter of the screen? Something like two line kernel and timing. Good question, man. I ain't the dude to help you. With oh that. yeah, he's he's like kind of. Getting crazy. Oh, I'm getting like extra lives. That's why. Run, Frosty. Good work, dude. Oh my God. Now it's. Now this is a sniper. Like now this is like Saving Private Ryan. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna stay far away from these guys. So I block. Oh. Whoa, dude. That was some like uh, some Jet Li business. <laughs> yes, shooting a was. bullet out of the air as it flies <laughs> at you. Oh my God, these guys. Ah, ah. Um, ah, oof, just in time. Yeah, um, like, like, and I, again, so many crazy, ah. like, like, um, just beautiful memories, too. Like, there was a time on Christmas when I was, like, living in, um, Belgium. Yeah. And, fuck, man, like, Europe knows how to do Christmas. Like, oh, you walk yeah. through the streets, and they set up these, like, almost, <laughs> like, uh, like, the kiosks, and you just almost walk through, like, a labyrinth of just, like, everything is all around, and you got people on the streets, and people are selling drinks, and... Yeah, and they're used to the... Oh, my God. The cold more? I don't know. Yeah, and everyone really. looks like dynamite, and you're just walking <laughs> around, and there's, like, a skating rink, like, this hose down, uh. like, a... Like, I, I remember, and you know, walking through um, this town I was in, and then going around to different places. I went to Switzerland. I don't even know what I was doing in Switzerland. <laughs> there's this fountain that was, like, frozen frozen as water was coming out of it and like oh, just wow. drinking eggnog like just you know so some there are some just, like unbelievable memories too you know of just these like right. this wild time and those were the nice times because it would just be like i was just with my like one side of the family because we were away and like so it's a bit simpler you know um, now we're gonna go to the next game which is uh, 2019 Xmas Invaders. Invading Xmas, I love it. <laughs> Dude, Menorah Madness, I want if that I game so it. bad. That's Why such a I good. That's such a good title. Alliteration is really like the foundation to a good catchphrase. And it is. It really Menorah works Menorah Madness. Well. It's just and it's just a perfect one. There we go. <laughs> Menorah Madness. It's got to happen. Make that happen. Paper Mario um, uh, agrees. He says he's in Europe and Christmas in Europe is so great. Yeah, it's a, it's a different it's a different thing over there. So this is Xmas Invaders. Uh, it's a two, it's based off uh, Pepsi Invaders mm -hmm. hack uh, by now I'm gonna get this right. Peter Stereotis, that's his last name. 
Stereotis, aka Otis P. Driftwood from Repentless Fiji, and I believe he is in the chat. He was there Dude, earlier. The D train just said we'll work on concepts from Men Menorah Madness and see if we can find somebody who wants to code. Fuck yes. There you go. Um, I mean, we've got the the candles. We've got the blowing out of the candles. You find matchsticks so you could light back another candle. Because if you stagger them, and I think they are staggered. Dude, right? and as they're like this. This is how so it scales. This is how it scales. Level one, you have all the candles. Level two, you have one less candle, so you can take less hits. Because that's how it works. Oh, I see. That's your life. Yeah, that okay. would be like your total life. Mm. Or, or how does it work, Hanukkah? Do you do you start with one candle yeah. and you end with all of them? I think you light one each day. Then that totally works. So, so then level you, one could be one. One candle. Then two, three, four. That scales even better. Yeah. So oh. you have to work it that way. Yeah. Get Nathan to do the <laughs> graphics. Um, so this was uh, this is a new game as well. New hack. Uh, posted November 28th. It's a 4K game. Uh, you can download it from Repentless 2600 Facebook page or group. So go for it. Got Merry Christmas. Whoa. Looks like you're a tree. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I see what's up. I've got a timer at the bottom. Hang on. You uh, think I was points? You think I'd be get better at playing these games <laughs> over like two years of doing this show? <laughs> you are better. You're definitely better. Oh, and it's a little reindeer at the top with a brown head and white and blue body. Kind of funny colors. Uh, Canada candle in the middle is used to light the others. Okay, well, work off of that. But you need a, a, something preventing you from lighting the candles. That's what you need. So this is uh, a message I got from Peter. It says hi James, thank you for including Xmas Invaders 2019 in your show. I'm the owner of Repentless Video Games. I do everything: label print, all hand cut labels, EEPROM burning, cartridge soldering, shipping, everything, etc. Now, do you remember the original mythological story behind um, the menorah? Oh, I have no idea. Because I believe it's quite beautiful. Um, like I believe it was like um, a leap of faith happened. Ah, oh, God, I wish I could remember it. Yeah. Um, and because there's a, there's a famous movie that symbolizes it. At least these guys don't come down and crush you. You yeah, have a time like a limit. Time Does it reset? <gasps> it doesn't reset. You have like... Holy shit, man. Whatever, okay. three minutes it started with to just get the best score you can. So I guess this was a competition game eventually, and it, uh, originally. Um, I just started doing graphic-only hacks. I actually started only about a month ago. Uh, he says, I've been making and selling cartridges for about six years. Oh, did someone, did someone give us... Oh, Arena Foot uh, linked to the store, Repentless Store, for anybody... I think they can buy this. Oh man, I should have fixed that. I fucked up, friends. Yeah, you got rid of your uh, I just, protectors. I, yeah. Too early. Um, I just downloaded a program and went for it. No experience in programming or help. It's just been trial and error. I mainly started because I wanted to change the sprites to ones I, I like, but I wanted to leave the original colors and gameplay. So, uh, not being able to change the colors yet. I've been able to make the original colors work without the sprites looking strange. This has been the most challenging part of making all the lettering fit correctly. I've completed over 15 games in a month. It becomes very addicting. At this point, it's just practicing and learning and fun. Yes! Next will be... Oh, you did it. 39 seconds. Uh, at this point, it's just practice, learning and fun. Next will be color changing by one step at a time. I want to get the sprites and lettering down oh, before I, I attempt like changing colors. I have a lot to learn, but it's a start. Be able to make my own cartridges. I can do a graphic hack I like, a design label, yes, and put okay, it up for sale for people who enjoy. It'll be all done in-house. Very quick, easy turnaround. If no one likes the games, then I'll just not make any carts. Oh, hey, buddy. That's a, no. <laughs> Hopefully over that's time, I'll learn a lot and get better. Don't base other people's liking off of what you'll do. If you can. Yeah. Just keep going. You know? If you like it, that's good. Uh, I'll learn a lot. Make quality games for people to enjoy. Remember, it's only been a month. Thanks again, James. I'll be watching. Okay, so how so did I do? He is here. He was here. Okay, he so... Oh, so I made what? it to 29... 2910, almost 2019, except a yeah, little all over the place. 2910. I don't think my buttons are working properly. Oh well. I gotta reset them. Oh, he is there. He's just sitting by. Um, my last name is pronounced how you would say stereo, like a car stereo. And the last part is how you would say kiss, but with a tiss. Stereo tiss. Whoa. But very fast. Most people massacre it. That's you can okay. include Most or any exclude any part. Yes, they would. <laughs> so I, it's I, like, I feel you, brother. A R L A R Is that R? Especially when I gotta Arlen? read it. It's like, oh, it's whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's 
long as you call Se me. Seriously. When I order coffee, I just go under David. That's my <laughs> name. And if I do any reservations, it's under David. It's David. Yeah. I just don't want to have to have this conversation, especially with I someone know. like a barista. Oh and God. they don't even need, often like at Starbucks, they don't even need to like, they're not the one who even reads it. No. They hand it to someone who's like, is that, um, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it. David, if you can't pronounce Re David, I can't help you. Reelin? Re Reelin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I understand. It is not a common name. Like, it's it's unique almost, right? Um, da -da 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 -da. Thanks again for including an Exodus Invaders. Pete Steratus. I use Otis P. Driftwood on Facebook. Too many family members and friends to Such answer, and I respond to became too much. Otis is the last four letters of my last name, and P for Pete. Otis Driftwood is a character in Rob Zombie's movie, The Devil's Rejects. Horror movie fan. Yeah, fuck yeah, what's your favorite horror movie? Are you in are you in the thing? He's in the chat. Okay, tell me your favorite horror movie. Yeah, it's always good to hear I love... what horror fans horror, best horror film is because I... they're very very passionate yeah, group man. of uh, moviegoers. I was I've told James this story a million times. I've probably said it on stream, but I dated this girl who was really cool and she loved horror movies. So like as a result, anytime we go into Netflix, it would just be like, "What are we going to do tonight?" She's like always down to watch a horror movie. <laughs> so we watched so many films and she would like even cuz I love movies, she would even just be like, "Okay, let me show you my favorite scene from like different movies." So <laughs> And but she'd seen everything. Like we'd go right. in, on a Netflix and we'd be watching like the bottom of the barrel stuff because because uh, she's seen all the good ones. Totally. Right? So I haven't seen a ton, but I love horror movies because it always brings me back to like that time of my life mm. of just kind of hanging out with her, watching movies. Evil Dead, he says. Evil Dead is a, a great, great one. choice. Which one? One or two? I love both well, of them. He's an aficionado, so he said specifically Evil, Evil Dead. Evil Dead, so probably the original one. I like the first one. Feels more like a horror movie, actually. That's yes. I, I'm a, in some ways I prefer the first Not a one. Comedy. Right, so. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with horror comedy. I think that's oh, no, a cool really combo. Good ones. But there is something so cool about just like the original Evil Dead. It's so pure. Um, and so like do it yourself, low budget. Dude, that was written creative. by one of the Coen brothers. I think I knew. Isn't that, that wild? I, I when is. I saw that, and also like what Sam Raimi, he he, um, how did I do? Did I do better? I think you did. Twenty nine ten. Oh, oh, way, way better. better. Okay, hand it over. For I gotta beat that one. Forty three twenty five. Yeah. Evil Dead two more. Oh, oh okay. shit. Okay, cool. Dude, Sam Raimi um financed that movie by dentists. He fucking went door to door. <laughs> to dentists? Yes, he went door to door and would knock on people and go, like, I want to make this movie. This is my dream. I mean, and dentists have a lot of money. And ultimately, it was his, <laughs> it was it was a dentist friend who who then he got one guy to say yes, and then all the other dentists were like, Yeah, sure, we'll throw some money in. So I think it was two hundred and fifty k. They made that first movie. Movie off of all funded yeah. by dentists, which I think <laughs> that is, is very, which funny. is one of those great, like, kind of like you know, um, uh, bar trivia night things. Oh, it is, you know, and the Cohen brothers thing, too, or one of them, anyway. Um, Ethan or Joe, Joel. Sometimes Joel. I do that, like, I'm like, I come, I, I'll read something and I'll be like, someday this is gonna pay off. <laughs> one of the other ones that I read at one point was, do you know, the guy Albert Brooks? Yes. His original name is no. Albert Einstein. Oh, I can see. <laughs> yes, I knew that. And he changed it to Albert Brooks, and I'm That's like, very smart. I'm like, definitely, dude. That That's... makes a lot of sense. But yeah, no. Nine out of ten dentists recommend this film. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck yeah. There you go. There's oh, the joke. Oh god, Evil Dead's so good. Okay. It is. It's a, such a. This, all the sequels are so fun and crazy. And, and like very contained and just like also like just kind of in some ways like a pure like cinema where you're just kind of yeah. like you're just really on board with um yeah they create this world that you're just totally into and you believe and, and the jokes are really good and he's and it's legit creepy oh. also you think about like cabin in the woods right i'm like that's straight like that's for sure straight evil dead <laughs> style like <laughs> right yeah any of the isolationist things you can't yeah. escape. If, if I'd be able to just knock on random people's doors to fund a movie. <laughs> yeah, and also yeah. it's the thing, the reality too, is you got to understand that was a time when um, really uh, that could happen. Oh, you know, because I think nowadays media and with all these Indiegogo things, Not like happening. it's just, it isn't going down. No. But, um, but like maybe, but back in the day, like... 
it was a special thing to like finance a movie. Oh yeah. I mean now it's kind of like every fucking YouTuber's got some movie they've made. Like not that that's now a that's, bad thing, but now I just it's mean easier. So that you don't even have an excuse to not make that's a movie. That's a great point. So you don't need to knock on doors. You don't need to ask dentists for ten thousand totally. dollars. Because you don't have to. You can buy... You can. Yeah, because film was expensive, and now you can just get a camera and do it yourself. But I also think that attitude is tough, too, because... Um, yeah. Uh, because there is that element of, like, well, but at the same time, you do also... I think you... I There's think... also expectations, still, of what a movie is. Yeah. You, you can't just make a crap movie just because you have a camera available. And I, I think audiences' expectations yeah. have changed so much. Oh, like yeah. What, what they want, the pacing, how much story, all that stuff. To make but, an indie film, you have to be so creative on a low budget and but do something honestly, nobody's like, done. But honestly, these great movies, like if, if they came out now, they would still be awesome. Like Evil Dead, if it came out oh, in 2018, yeah. would be a badass movie. Come on. Yes, just in time. I don't know if I got bonus for that. but I don't know. I think you got... You did definitely did better than me, man. You got like 69. 69 80. 69, 80. Oh, yeah, destroy. God damn it. I don't even think I could... <laughs> That's not bad. That mm -hmm. is, I, I will take that score. Because you have a time element. Like, yeah, man. You can only do shoot so many in so much time. That is not bad. There was a, there was a, there was a thing twist. I wanted to like read real quick. I just yeah, and riff off of? I just didn't know if it was... Okay, cool. No, I was just checking. It okay. was just a long thing. I just I thought it might have been related to something. So, let's go to the next game, which is Holiday QB. Holiday. holiday cube oh my god i'm gonna pronounce this wrong because i did it wrong last time i yeah. think it's holiday QB. QB. cube oh my god hope he's not watching he will <laughs> <laughs> i know he will uh so let me bring up the instructions by andrew davy um and let's bring up the game and this was only released on cartridge there is no downloadable rom for this um, but Andrew has let me play it on the show, which Yay. was very nice of him. And it was supplied by Arena Foot, the keeper of, uh, everything. <laughs> <laughs> All things good. Uh, okay. Oh, Arena, the guardian of the realm of the homebrews. That's right. She's in an RPG. There we go. It, yeah, this is a very old game. And this one, I mean, he made the original game. Yeah. Can you call it a hack if you made the original game? Or is it just an extension of your game? It's an your expansion. Own game. It's an expansion, yeah. It's a, like a sequel. Or, yeah. It's, yeah. Depends how different it is. Expansion's probably a good... Yeah. But we'll see. Okay. Well, I so think I remember this. I don't know if you played this. Uh... It's it's You have to make the pattern in the top... Right. Yeah, oh, I did play this at one point. Turn phosphor on is what some. I think it is on, then. but I will check. Maybe. Yeah, it should be. <sighs> on. No, it, it is on. Sorry. Maybe it looks better once you start the game. It looks a little bit better once you start it. Okay. Holiday, holiday QB. Okay, I think I'm remembering how to do this shit. Turn phosphor on. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of flicker in this game. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're almost there. I just need another one, right? Yeah, you do. Can I die? Oh, no, you don't need another one. Just move up one. There you go. Oh, I see. Uh, you can. Um, let me read the instructions to re-familiarize myself with it because I can't remember everything. That's the only part I can remember. But those things can either help you or hurt you depending on what they are. Um, and you can also kick Boxers. I can't remember. Uh, QB, Real Cafe Man says, QB was the first homebrew I ever bought. Circa 2001. Philly Classic. Never saw this version. Yeah, this was a very limited version. Um, but I will look into the information uh, from Brian as well. This is a special holiday version of the homebrew classic QB. I'm pretty sure it's QB. The aim of the game is to achieve the highest score possible by moving the cubes in the large playfield. No, match. okay, so I finally died match the pattern in the target grid window. Achieving this finishes the level and a new... Is there no sound on this one? It's just really, really quiet. Oh, Whoa, I don't know sad. how to deal with this guy that, like, attacks you. Do you have, like, an attack gonna or something? going to stop me for a second. Okay. Because it's just really quiet sound. There you go. That's better. 
So this guy here, do I attack him or something? I don't understand. You can attack somehow. I'll get that That's getting that wrecked again. by like these. Uh... Start again? Yeah. Oh my god. There we go. Uh, you start each level by standing on a cube in the bottom right of the playfield. The cube is, uh, this is the cube feed area. No other cubes can appear until you move that cube you're on. The cube can be moved uh, by pushing the joystick in the desired direction, up, down, left, right. If, the, if another cube blocks your path, you will automatically jump to that cube. Correct placement of a cube will cause its position in the target grid to stop flashing. Which I think is a great... There's so much going on for this, this game, it's amazing. That if it's in the right position, it stops flashing in the top right corner. It's just a lot of fun. Pickups and enemies. Yeah, I'm understanding how to kill these guys now. You don't want them to jump on you. You have to jump on them, right? Yeah, I think that... something like that. I mean... And they're always people. Like, that's that's food, right? That could, that's not going to kill you. Is that guy bad? Yeah. yeah. From time to time, pickups will appear. There are several types of pickups, including gingerbread man and candy canes. Picking up these gives you points. It's also possible to earn an extra life by collecting the pickups in the correct order. You'll have to work that order out for yourself. Uh, several element... Several enemies also populate the world of cube QB. They will either try to kill you or move your cubes around. They appear initially in snowballs, which can be squashed by jumping on them. Once an enemy pops out of its icy prison, contact with them becomes deadly. However, if you're about to be pounced by one, you can knock them off the screen by pressing the fire button. Yeah, that's, so. what, I, that's what I figured out. So let's take that. Mm, okay. What? Uh... If your score is still zero, you may not attack the enemy, so collecting collect those pickups quickly. Okay. You're given a time limit to complete each pattern. When this expires, a pattern in the target grid changes. The target grid will flash for 10 seconds before this happens. Once the time expires and the pattern changes, it's no longer possible to score points in that level. So if you take too long trying to make oh, it... Oh, I guess. This is literally as I was doing it. This. Yeah, sometimes it's like... Uh, Oh, oh. Troublemaker. <laughs> yeah, if you take too long, the pattern changes, so you kind of start from scratch again, right? But there's no real time limit. Is there? Like, overall time limit? It's just the time limit is is annoyance of, of the pattern changing. Oh, that one's mostly done. So you're almost there. You just have to do... Yeah, and then one more. Nice. Finally, freebie. Or maybe you get bonus based on how fast you do. I think, it, you I got think no that's bonus definitely what there. the case. Um, so this was uh, 2004. It was put out as the holiday cartridge for Atari Age because um, some years the Atari Age has put out a holiday cart um, as a special cart. Uh, gameplay and graphical update by Andrew Davy. Additional graphics by Karen Adams. I was so close, and then this guy just wrecks all my stuff, man. <laughs> That's what happens. That's how life goes sometimes. So let's open up Brian Mathern's book, and we can get some more insight into this. Really dig the score font. Yeah, it's very, uh, very cursive, very, I don't know what type of font that you would describe that as. The challenge of this game is to be able to place all the all the things but at the same time be able to move them because sometimes they're all separated out and it's challenging to figure out how to place them properly so let's see where this is holiday qb brian i mean arena foot is this uh oh there it is page 20 23. Oh, so tiny. Let's go to page 23 and get some more insight into this game. Because I couldn't find my actual book. I have no idea where it is. And I was really mad. Because it's supposed to be up on the shelf with the rest of your books. But it is not there. Uh, 
following in the footsteps of the 2003 Holiday Greeting Cart 2004 Atari Age release of 2004 oh, Holiday QB Cart collaboration. Right as I did it, it just between reset. Between Atari Age, Andrew Davey, and Dave, David Exton. Cube E is a original game written by Andrew Davey for the Atari 8-bit computers. So it's, he ported his own game um, from Atari 8-bit to the 2600. Uh, okay, it's 4K game, flashback portable compatible, uh, and it was uh, originally released for $50 or winning one in the uh, contest, holiday QB cart contest. It doesn't say what the contest was about, but maybe later. Let's see some interesting notes. That's from the manual. That's from the manual. The hard one. That's pretty much for no man. Quite not to do this one actually. There's no game options. Uh, if you finish the level on the first countdown pass, then you get points added to your score. So, if you if it changes to a different pattern, there's no bonus. Yeah. So if you get it done quickly, you get some bonus. Also, you lose points every time you like stop one of these guys. So like, I'm just going back in time. <laughs> there's no point in me playing. <laughs> Same go game notes from the original. Yeah, there's not a lot of add-ons there. It is not an easy game. It it doesn't really even look easy either. It looks challenging, and it is. So you have to kind of place things, and then also have a bridge to your old pieces. And then the second that they do it, do you see that? <laughs> Literally the second I was about to finish it, one of these, this little guy starts comes. moving your things around, right? And, and like, and then every time I have to kill one of those, I lose points. So like, I may as well have not even like <laughs> done it. So, oh, see, reset. Oh, but that one's pretty close. At least now. That one's not bad. At least I got one. Damn it. Yeah. So you have to place that Did one. You see that? <laughs> That bastard! Oh, the second that I go to do it. You're almost there. But you have to somehow make a bridge. Like, move that one down and over. No, 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 no. Fail, and it's done. <laughs> and, I, and I lost all my points. <laughs> there. It's closer. Oh, no. Oh, it's reset. I'm starting to really get frustrated. If this game would have been the arcade in the 80s, it would have been a hit. Oh, yeah. This is a perfect arcade game. Simple to understand, hard to master. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're like, get back here. Oh, he's almost <sighs> killing you. And I have like 6,000 points. Like, it doesn't... Are you over? It's over. Yeah. I had like... I had 150,000 at a certain point. Oh, my God. But every oh, time so you have... it takes away points? Every time you fight one of those guys. So not only did they destroy your shit, but you then have to, like, lose points to kill them. <laughs> it's hard. Oh, my God. Okay. That's Let's... so depressing. Because then if I would have just died at 150,000 points, I would have done better. See, now you're, like, better. Doing way better. You gotta be so fast with this game. Oh, bye, Paper Mario. Bye, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, man. Very awesome. Oh my god. For some reason, that hat guy is the real troll. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, all the other ones, I'm like, that's alright. But there's something so trolly about the hat. It even looks like a troll. Just look at him. It's oh, sneaky. Oh, yeah. It's got its little... It doesn't even... It's got legs and a hat. Oh my god. That guy's the worst. Look at him. Oh look. my Just, god. Do you see what I mean? Look, every time... Messing my... Get, get <laughs> the hell out of here. <laughs> Guy, man, he's just the worst. There we go. Hardly got any points, but... Like, when we play uh, Andrew Davies' games, he's like, oh, it's... He always gets mad at us. Why? Because we're not good enough? Because we're not good enough at his games. But it's just also like the reality of when you're like a developer, I think, and you play the game all the time, it's like it's you, you forget that like... It's not easy. Yeah. Oh my god, I messed these up. I gotta. Oh my! Look at that dude. He's so fast. Yeah. You kind of have to get all the squares out first, at least, and then you can start placing them. Oh my god. He 
even that is like. Also, sometimes you just end up getting ones that are easier and ones that you get that are harder. Thanks, snowman. Oh my, oh my god, that guy's fast. Yeah, that one's the, that's like the boss or something Over right there. 15, yeah, he is. He's like, boom, 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 boom. 15, 720. I'm going to try once more. It's kind of like Hubert, but not really because you're moving stuff around. Oh my god. Let's try and do this properly. Don't need anybody moving my stuff. Yeah, that's when it really gets gets like a... I don't know if it's like, oh, you should get all those bonus things because they're worth a ton of money or just like... I think you got to just try to finish this, this or thing. Or is it worth right? better worth getting... Um... Oh, what was that? A free life? I think I did really well. Very possibly. Uh, okay, what the hell am I doing here? Let's get this party started. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's the way to do it. Middle one over to the corner. Nice. Puzzle Game Cubert. That's pretty close to a good description of it. Puzzle Game Cubert. Like, I could see... Um, I could see him, if he was making this um, back in the 80s uh, for the arcade, they would go, well, let's just attach Cubert to it. Let's let's make this a Cubert game and put this in the arcade. So let's change the graphics. Yeah. And it's like Cubert's Puzzle or something. Let's call it that. And it'd be totally valid. Uh, no, let's do this down here, over there, up there, and then we can do that. Yay! Two. No, I just don't have. No, as long as I don't lose points, <laughs> then I can get a new top score for me. Let's do that. That's perfect. Nice. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Dude, that hat, man. There's something about that hat that just is extra. <laughs> I don't know what it is. All the other ones seem to be okay. You're almost singing the song of Frosty the Snowman. Really? There's something in that hat. Magic in that hat. Oh, right? Oh, no. I didn't even know that. <laughs> didn't even mean to do that. You gotta be careful. <laughs> Dude, I realized as I was talking in the intro, I was like, dude, I'm the Grinch, man. <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 it wasn't. Hopefully like... I'm not the Grinch, but like I was realizing that I'm like, I'm totally like in that world, I guess. Look at this guy every time. Oh, Look at yeah. him. Look at him. Oh, <laughs> he's, 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 he's totally the worst, not, man. I don't, totally know just... what, I don't know what he is. How could I? Oh, the hat got me. Oh, my. Get out of here. Yeah. Um, and I don't miss, like, being in Edmonton, really, but, like, um, uh, there's definitely, I think, some stuff about Edmonton that really, like, defined me in a lot of ways, you oh, know? Yeah. Like, I really do think that living in a climate where, where it is so much colder really changes the way that you are. Um, like, I notice, like, a lot of people I end up working with who are, like, in the, in the industry who are from Alberta, there's a little bit, they're like, a, it's not, a simpler is the wrong word, but things are just a little bit, like, easier to plan. I, I find that, like, at least Damn in Alberta, it. it's like, when you're like, I, are you, can you be at this place at, like, 4.30? They'll say, sure, and then they'll just be there. Yeah. Versus in Vancouver, that doesn't actually happen. <laughs> you know, it's like, are you going to be here at 4.30? It's like, you might get a text, at like, uh, you know? Versus I yeah. find that, and that is something I've found with colder climates, is people are just a little bit more, um, like, willing, I guess, to just... The warmer the climate, the more laid back people are. Yes. That is for sure. There, I beat my score. I, I am happy. Yeah. I'm happy. And I think you stay closer to each other in colder climates. Like, you tend to sort of, like... Physically and emotionally. Yeah, you tend to have, like... <laughs> it's I, cold. I've just noticed a lot of my friends in, in Alberta are married or, like, had long-term relationships. And here, it's not as much. Yeah. Carl G says, I'm glad this is getting played since it's the only chance most of us get to see it. That is true, because oh. this is... Um, there's no ROM out there. Really? So uh, it was Andrew Davey was allowed me to play this without having a ROM because it's long sold out. It's from 15 years ago. Yeah. So it's in. I, it doesn't say how many it was limited to, but I would guess, I guess as many people that, that yeah. ordered it during that year, and who knows how big the scene was. Well, some people do. Yeah. In 2004, not as big as now. I'm guessing. Yeah, that was near the uh, the beginning because the beginning was around 99 when things started ramping up so but very fun very fun game uh very challenging i can see 
the more you practice, the more you can see patterns. Like, that was an easy one. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, this is also, like, it's, like, sort of the intro stage. And this being... F oh, people can't see it. Um, and this being 4K... They said, no, it wasn't. What, did, what does it really mean? It wasn't limited or was limited? I don't know it, what that was related to, though. Yeah, it says it wasn't. I just... just Can you just clarify? I want to... It I just... wasn't what? This is 4K, and it's amazing the depth of the game. Yeah. Play. Um, what's going on on the screen? It's got a demo mode. Mm -hmm. Like, look, 4K, unbelievable. Um, so hats off to Andrew David, who is a master programmer. Wow. Like, unbelievable. I mean, he did, he did Boulder Dash as well. I love it. Unbelievable. And he's and he's doing. It wasn't popular in 20, 2004. Oh yeah, Arena Foot would know. Okay, cool. Actually, Thanks for be, letting us know, it'd man. It'd be an amazing graph to do. How many homebrews were released uh, per year? Wow. Each year, um, and I know it's over a hundred and fifty. Does it? Do they spawn year. in the corner? Every, yeah, you have to move the block out of the way. The bottom to get one? another block. Oh, so, so there's a real tactic to just getting all the. Blocks oh, I did read then. that out. You must have missed it. But, that make that makes yeah. sense. Okay, so let's get on to um, Reindeer Rescue. We have Reindeer played this. Rescue. Um, we played an early version of this really recently yeah. when it wasn't Reindeer Rescue. And it reminded me, it's like, oh, yeah, we got to play that game. I didn't get to the end. And it's so challenging and fun. It's a platformer, a I, scrolling platformer. I remember this one. Whew, this is toughy. It, it is gonna... tough. I think it's level four that is the tough part. Dude, I think it's level two for me. <laughs> Ooh, let me turn that down. Turn down the in studio sounds so you don't get the crazy echoes yeah. the time delays happening like because it hasn't been synced up yet i apologize yet again <laughs> so good uh so yeah let's get it going uh i'll put the focus on stella and this is where you just you run run and jump it's a uh, not an endless runner but it's it's a running oh god oh you can still do it there you go Oh no! Your foot got caught on the Buddy. house. Buddy, got caught on the house. See what I mean? Level two. So let's just go over and some. And Adad is up top. Quick yes. info about it. Uh, this was from 2005. It's a 16k game. Uh, we last played it uh, on December 12th, 2018. So last Christmas. Hey. Time. We played like a uh, Halloween version too. Yes. Was it Halloween? I believe so. Or it could have been another seasonal I, one. I, my gut tells me it was Halloween. I don't think it was. I think it was. We just played it recently, and it was an early version. Cause I remember. I remember this is like. <laughs> Carl D says, "I hate it when I get run over by a house like that." Dude, it happens to me all oh, goddamn daily. Time. You have to it's watch so your back hard. around houses. Some of them around here are very sneaky. <laughs> we have laneway houses. They're smaller, so they can hide easier. It's true. Crazy. So Bob Montgomery is a programmer, Nathan Strum, our own Nathan Strum, uh, did the graphics for it, which are excellent looking graphics. Like everything is exactly, like you can recognize absolutely everything in this game. Santa, Santa, the things at the top are amazing. It's the sun, the reindeer is awesome. You have to get that reindeer. You have to get it. There you go. Uh, Reindeer Rescue is an original game written by Bob Montgomery, author of the captivating homebrew game Go Fish. Uh, help re Santa rescue his lost reindeer. I don't think it was this, but it was similar. It was like arrows could make you run faster. Yeah, it was an early version of this game um, that he adapted. It. Was it? Was it? I felt like it had a theme of some kind. I'm supposed to catch that I guy. Did. I can't remember what it is. Yep. Let's go up top. Let's see how that feels. Not many things. I think the nothing kills you. It's just, you should have got that. Damn. Or maybe you don't. Maybe wrong. that's the thing that pushes you back. I think that pushes you back. Coffee you and everything. I think I maybe picked the wrong. No, you didn't because the reindeer's there. Oh, okay. I guess good news. Always stay up if you can for completing the level. For bonuses, they're usually down below. I feel below. like I might need some of these bonuses, though, for my, like, little, uh, you know, my Your Christmas I don't know if that builds things up. that are slowly dying. Because uh, I think I might be dying soon, man. Look, I'm at, like... Three, I'm gonna be at two. I soon. think that's an indicator of the how long the level is. That's it. What's you need that? that. You need that. You need that. Stay back. There you go. But like, I'm dead. No, that's the 
That's when the level's over. No, that's when I die. <gasps> oh. Because you have to get, like, oh, let's see. <laughs> You'd have to get certain things? Yeah, because, like, those things that are at the bottom will, like, replenish my, like, Oh, my your health. lights. So the fact that I, like, went up top is, like, a huge issue. Real Cafe Mensa's superb animation. Yeah, there's a lot of frames in his, in his walk cycle. It's, like, eight? It's hard to tell. <laughs> it's, it's very quick. You can see it more, more on his arms. What's that? You have to get that! You have to get your sleigh and all your reindeer. <laughs> it's a crow carrying a sleigh. Damn. A sled. Um, Man, Santa works so hard. I'm gonna go bottom this time. <laughs> I'm gonna screw me over, I bet. But, like, what are we gonna do? Okay, But controls, I need some of that stuff, you know? Scoring. Uh, each item Santa needs his cookies. Yeah, each item. Oh, he's fucked. Each item possibly gives you bonus points and or bonus ener energy. Give me some of that energy, man. I need it. Stay low. What's the... Th Whoa. Oh, you made it further. There you go. Get it. No! Oh, I missed a reindeer. Oh, yeah, because I remember that. Like That's like the bait and switch. Snow flurry, evil bird, abominable snowman are the bad things. Okay, here you go. Oh, God. No button reset. Boom. It's rough. <laughs> it's a rough life. <laughs> Definitely didn't finish this game. Um, it is. Oh my god. I almost died. Not paying attention. It's okay. I think I made it to level four. That sounds about right. Yeah. I don't even know what this like alien so creature is just wandering through the. Bob Level Snowman. Is looks that... more like an upright bear. It looks but, like uh... a massive ET. <laughs> oh, don't say ET. Those are the forbidden words. <laughs> Sorry. That's that's like the, the it's like that's the Scottish play version of the Atari twenty six hundred. There we go. Yeah, man, but um growing up in Edmonton, there's 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 one person that came from Edmonton uh -huh. who's like a hero. Okay. And what's so interesting is like when I was in grade two it was like we sat around in a circle. We had a moment where, like, my teacher was like, "It's time that we tell you about the great one." <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. And he had a jersey which said '99 on it, and he's like, "You gotta know who Wayne Gretzky is." <laughs> Wayne Gretzky came from Edmonton, Alberta, and it was yes. it was like a picture of him like on the wall, <laughs> like literally oh, in our elementary God. school. And it was, but there was that whole idea of just like, and we would like talk about him all the time, <laughs> which I'm not even kidding. It was like it was it was that level of like oh, we need to talk about the great one so funny um and for like a young kid um that was actually kind of actually fairly meaningful to me because at least the mythology went was like you know he's like one it's presumably the greatest hockey player that ever lived yeah yeah and that whole idea of that stats alone totally and the idea which i think was really inspiring to hear was that he wasn't the biggest he wasn't the fastest he wasn't like you know what i mean there he wasn't was no, a fighter no, no but like what he was was he was the smartest like he yeah. he understood the game and also like his dad just like sprayed down his like driveway with ice and was like i'm tired of driving wayne to like <laughs> the hockey rink every day why don't we just Good let night. him play around in the backyard and so there was that whole idea that like you just got to devote yourself to something and really like you know not not get the best at it but you got to really understand the thing but how do you get all these things without dying like i yeah. ran out well you needed to go to the bottom to but get then some I of those missed my sleigh see there you needed that bell like you see you need to like be a bit more strategic it's hard yes because you see now you're missing all this stuff yeah but i'm at full right now yeah so, so you're you're totally fine Ugh. but but yeah you know and then that and also the idea of like gretzky was that like he had more assists than he had goals yeah that he that he thought it he thought, thought of the it as, long game long game and he thought of the team he was yep. like this is this isn't about me this isn't about my ego this is about how do we win how do we together like it doesn't matter whether i'm the one who hits and and so that's right. those are some edmonton values that i think about when i go back there i'm not even kidding if people walk around with fucking 99 jerseys all the low. time and like there was right because basically there was a manager that um nothing down here that, that sold him right and um because that he was running out of money and right. there was almost riots in the streets because it was essentially like you took away the one guy that that we had right um I run out again. and they and they would obviously oh, you no! needed to do it oh you just forgot yeah you're done rip ah uh, terrible but 
But I, I do. It's so funny. I do remember being like, "It's time that we talk about the great one." <laughs> <laughs> Everybody sit down in a circle. It's li- and it's literally what 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 they call him. But I, that's like one of pretty. Get much- out your hockey cards. And- well, the other person that came from Edmonton was Nickelback. So you know, like, oh. <laughs> like what are oh, you boy. what are you gonna Did do they? when you got Nickelback or Wayne Gretzky? I think you're gonna go with Wayne Gretzky. I didn't know they were from. Uh, yeah, they're from Edmonton. I'm gonna go low, even though my sleigh's up there. I guess you don't need your sleigh. It's just about getting to the end of the level, or does it repeat? Because it's not about getting to the end of the level. Because you run out of energy if you don't get these things. Do we go up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you, I think you would have been fine if you just jumped and got it, but you you, 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 you fell for the package that I did, too. Yeah. Now i got to go up because I won't be able to make that jump that's coming up. Exactly. Here it comes. So it's Probably. actually more of a memorizing game, it feels. There is a bunch oh, of Oh, actually, the bottom might have been better. Yeah, see, there you go. That's it. You don't have to get your sleigh. You have to get the rain. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's level three. Oh, it's just... Look, we got Walter White moving. up there. Moving! This is the level. Yeah. This is the level I die on. Level three. Yeah, snow speeder flying by. Man, that Hoth thing is so badass. That's one of the best things ever, that opening of Empire. I like that stuff a lot. Oh, how does that, doesn't it always open in space? But that one opens on Hoth, man. Mm. Something crashes. Exactly, and, and he's thing like checking his and... thing and right. there's all that stuff. Oh. And that's where you get all the all the cool stuff, the ATATs, and you get like the the guy oh, who yeah. he cuts the arm off, and then he like you know, that's a, it's a good that's a it's uh, weird. S. Romero says is that's his favorite opening too. Oh man, I feel like too like Return of the Jedi's got some got a fucking incredible opening too, but the rest of that movie is like what the fuck. <laughs> Personally, I don't. Yeah, I, it's I just, a lot it's of not, weirdness. It's just, it's just not like Ewoks and like you know the throne room and like I don't know like it's not it's not my thing, but I love 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 like that opening when they're like on Tatooine and all that stuff. Mm. It's funny in some ways like to me the first Star Wars movie, the opening of Empire and the opening of Return of the Jedi are the most Star Wars. Um, mm. And stuff in Empire, the rest of Empire too. But like, oh, yeah. but that feels like the movies to me. Everything else is just. Eh. So we're gearing up for the uh, 2019 Atari Awards. Yay. Oh, that's gonna be fun. So on February 1st, 2020, uh, we have the list of 2,600 games posted in the forums, the Atari Age forums, that have been released so far. We're looking for people to look for errors, anything we've missed. Uh, Brian Mathern is the the Arena guy foot. that uh, the guy that's uh, go gotta get that. There you go. Is keeping track of that. Uh, thank you so much, Arena Foot. Um, we have the 7800. No, yeah, 7800 list posted, which is a sad, sad list. Really, it's only it's... three games. So far, so far we got our uh, gold, bronze, gold, silver, and bronze. <laughs> That's right. Just like ready to go. Ready to Look go. at the steam engine up top. That's cool. That's amazing. Um, oh, can you get them? Oh, you still can get them. Nice yeah. move. I'm doing this bottom way. I'm sure it's yeah. gonna screw me over in a second. No, but... no. Well, Smart. that did that did I lose something with that bomb? No, you just got points. There. you That's go. what we needed, man. We needed. I'm gonna get, get up, up top. Yep, Whoa! There you go. Get it. I, cal- nice. I calculated that fairly well. Now you just have to make that gap jump, so stay yeah, up top. And don't up. go for the present. No. Um, cut off date to qualify for your Atari Awards. It is December 31st, 2019. 11.59 p.m. in 59 seconds. As soon as it strikes midnight, no other games are... Oh, you got squished. But I needed that, or I would have. Cookies? Yeah, Yeah, or I wouldn't have made it. Yeah. So if it's made in 2019, it qualifies for being entered into the nominations. And then uh, the games go to a nomination committee that narrow it down to 10 games per category. And there's nine total categories this year. Um... The top See, ones are oh, best geez. best homebrew, homebrew game for 2600, 7800, 5200 slash 8 bit. And then there are other categories like best graphics, best sound, uh, best packaging. And we have a very interesting one um, best, uh, uh, like the Legacy Award. Um, lifetime, achievement. lifetime Achievement. I always forget that. 
Lifetime Achievement Award. That, that will be uh, decided on by the, uh, by the nomination committee. There you go. Bam! Level three! Time to get wrecked. Who are the ones to narrow down to a list of ten? They're the elite of the elitists. No. They are no. Uh, mostly programmers, developers, um, <laughs> and uh, they have a lot of knowledge in uh, all things to do with 2600, or respectively 5200 8-bit um, games. So they know what to look for, uh, what is um, the best of the best that are in the, in the year. And they did a great job last year. It's going to be the same people. Is the membership secret? Uh, face. I don't think it is. I don't think so either. <laughs> Lol. Because I don't really like, you know, having secrets. Secrecy. I want to be open as much as possible. Um, I don't know if I ever posted it last year, but it's not a, it's not a secret, but um, I don't think I even... I don't know how we handled it last year. But it's not secret. No, it's not a secret committee. <laughs> um... Arena Foot's on there. I'm on there. Um, Daryl Spice Jr.'s on there. Um, I mean, the, all these people you've you've heard of. I am. Um, I, John Champo's on there. Sorry. Oh no, it's not. This is a random one, but I okay. I, I attended a uh, seminar in, in that was for marketing in terms of like marketing to sort of my generation. It was very funny listening to people go on and on and on about like. All that stuff. One of the things they said is they said if you want to um, hit the millennial demographic, one of the most essential things is transparency. Oh god, yeah. They say that like really because we're so cynical these days that having any form of like secrecy is actually a terrible business model in like 2019. That if you making yourself as transparent as possible um, is like uh, one of the best methods. And so that's, I think, like a good value to hold, especially for like these things, not having secret things, keeping things transparent. Yeah. Because I think that also is just, we're just so cynical these days. And I, I mean, I guess I do feel that personally, is like I trust something that is, um, you know, like, that is transparent. Yeah. And is seen, it's like, how know. does this work? Even and even if even through my cynical capitalist lens, I'm like, well, they're just using that to try to market to me. You know, like there <laughs> is that element, but at least it's, it's semi-transparent. Because this idea of like, oh, don't worry, the executives we'll will go it. into the executive room to we make the best. executive decisions. Because yeah, because I'm the father and I'm the authority and blah 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 blah. I think, See, I I think you it. need that cookie, man. I don't think you do. I think I can make it. I'm almost there. I did get something down below earlier. Cool. I think. We'll see. Because I I've it's observed that the cookie is the last main one before the sort of run is coming up. Ooh, get low. Oh my god. Maybe I do need it. Maybe that's what we figured out last time. Oh, I think it's soon. Come on. Hurry up. Oh my god. You're right. And that's yeah, the problem with the sled. Is the sled sled seduces you. Right. Yeah. But but you also got to be careful because because those oh. things steal from you too. Oh. So um, no, Albert's not on it. Albert doesn't have time to to do that. <laughs> he has his own company to run. Um, no, Albert's not on it. But he helps. Uh, he helps with setting up the the voting and the forums. So he he contributes in in and he promotes the the event as well. He's yeah. Look, got out the cookies. Yes, you're right. The sled is deceptive. It's like hey. You want a sled? It's right here. <laughs> you can also get the um, one that has the extra speed, but I don't know if that actually helps you. Oh, no, I don't think so. Um, I don't need that. I don't it, want it that It carries you speed. to the next level, actually, I noticed. The speed yeah. continues? I know. I don't want the speed in the next level. It's terrible. That thing, no, I don't want that. Mm -hmm. Especially if it carries over. Because the next level is hard. He said a couple of guys jumping. from last year are not able to participate this year. Yeah, I mean, it's a difficult time of year. Um... So, I think we still yeah, have we quite a few that. people on... No, it's just fast, this level. Oh, okay. I'm just, yeah. Whoa. Precision jumps. Yeah, nightmare. Yeah, you just almost have to just, like... Yeah, coffee is essential. Yeah. Santa needs his coffee. Didn't put me at full, but... Oh, my 
God. Yeah, and the other thing, man, is that I have, I have... I have... go fast. Uh, no! Uh, there's no recovery. No, there isn't. You're just dead. Game over. Do another round. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I wasn't asked, was I? Oh, you should be on there. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you should be on there. Somebody ask him. Yeah, I ask you right now. Yeah, right now, man. <laughs> Remind me. Uh, no, to, honestly, that's, that's a no-brainer. It is. Um, so I'll fill you in. Just uh, message me to remind me about that. Um, yeah, because we need, you know, people oh my who God. are in the know. That's such a no-brainer. Yeah, for, for you to be on there. Um, you do have to have a lot of time but, to, to look through a lot of games. But, I it's mean... like 150 we, games we, to play. We'd be lucky. Yeah. Yeah, it would be amazing to have you on there. Don't forget to grab the yeah. cookies. Oh, yeah. Man. I want the cookies. Well, the other crazy thing about Christmas, man, is I have divorced family on top of divorced family because there's two marriages. Uh, <laughs> so, so, uh, so that's also, like, there's about oh, if, there's about five families I, I kind of, like, I'm obligated to go to. Some so people me, love that. Some people are like, oh, the more the merrier. The more the Great. merrier. It's about two weeks if I, if I do it all. It's quite a tour. Yeah, and it's very different vibes, man. Very right. different vibes. In each household? Definitely. Uh, to continue off the uh, home rewards, obviously the uh, cutoff year at the end of the year is December 31st, and that's when the process starts. Um, we have a couple days to evaluate, make sure we... Not even a couple days. Um, it goes right to the, to the people evaluating and the nomination committee. I think that's from the 1st to the 10th round, so they have a week and a half. Actually, I need to go low. Damn it. It's okay. Oh, no. Well, that's cool. Not always. Did it just not show the cookies because I went high? No, no, no. This is a, That's okay. later in the level. Oh, the another. Cookies. Don't worry. Okay. Um, You're going to be all right. And then after that... You're going to have to get up for the uh, reindeer real soon, but you got that coffee. That's essential. Yeah, there you go. Right. You made that jump. And then I believe the voting is on the 15th. The public voting. And that's for a week and a half. Get ready, cookies uh, coming up fast, man. You gotta just gotta get, get ready down. for the choice. <laughs> the choice. And uh, and then people vote on it, and then we have a couple days after the voting closes to finish it all up. Now. And yes. then uh, then we have the award show. And I was looking at the last year's award show, and look, it looks so awesome. It, yeah. Like we uh, put on our suits and cleaned up a bit, and yeah, man, I'm gonna try to like be in good shape for that. <laughs> <laughs> Not to eat too much uh, Christmas goodies. That's the benefit of me staying back here is I don't have to. I always end up gaining quite a bit of weight. Oh yeah. Because that's what all anybody it's wants like, to eat, do. Eat. It's just sort of the only social thing. I don't, I don't know what that thing does. It doesn't seem to do much. There, that's how you do it with all your lives. Now it's death, 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 death. Because I didn't even make it to the first reindeer in this level. Yeah. That's kind of your checkpoint, I've noticed. You have to jump on that thing. You're I was right. trying to make it without it, but yeah. you have to make it. Your name is on the list. You should have received an alert. There you go. Yeah. Oh my god. Get! Yeah, man, my D&D campaign's been going so well. People had such a blast the other day. Um, we did, oh, good. We did a seven-hour session, which I was able to maintain. Wow. I'm learning how to. I'm learning how to build stuff. I'm learning so much about this stuff, man. If I ever in my life had no. to like design like an RPG, I feel like I would have a, a lot of fun with that. Mm. Try another one. Oh, I am. Cause um, cause man, it's like there's a lot. Of, there's just a lot of cool lessons to learn from from doing it. And storytelling. Like, storytelling yeah. and also just like RPG scaling. You know all that stuff. Oh, you're giving the secret link that you can't get into unless you, uh... You might want to just reset because you died. On yeah, like a... I just want to make sure that that link doesn't actually work. <laughs> actually, I can't tell. Ah, there we go. No, it's all good. Because, uh, Arena Foot, um, posted the, uh, the link for only nomination members. I was uh... like, oh my god, what if it's just secret? And you can get into it if you know the link. Because there's a difference between, like, permissions, password protected, and just not knowing the link. But luckily it is, um, 
permission based. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have just killed her <laughs> for posting that link. But it's all good. No one needs to be murdered. No, not today. Not today. No murder is on the block. Um, but yeah, make sure you check out that, Thomas. Um, and I should have added, added you, because I added every, uh, everybody that was on the nomination committee last year. But I have noticed that the forums don't update you when something has been posted in that thread. Probably because of the weird permissions in that thread. Because I go to, oh, what has been updated since I was last on the, on the, yeah. on the forums? And that one doesn't show up. And I guess it's because of the permissions. Actually, I'm almost certain. Oh, I checked it prior to posting it. Good stuff. Arena foot's not dumb. Ooh, 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 my head, my head. Ah, ah, ah. There is a bug right there, I think. Um, if you jump backwards in this game and you uh, hit your head on the ceiling, you can... Um, actually, I want to go low. Actually, that one you stay high. Yeah. But you can get them anyway. Um, and low, it, you're gonna get these, this mug of cup, cup of, cup of coffee soon, that and that's need. really important. Coffee and cookie milk, I bet. It's mug of milk. Mug of milk. That's. Oh god. No. <laughs> <laughs> milk and cookies. That's what Santa needs. That's right. That's what Santa's all about. So we have the same uh, people helping out this year for the. Uh, 2019 Atari Awards, it's Atari Age, is presenting it. Also, Brian Mathern, Arena Foot is presenting it. Also, the, um, uh, the, the production value of this one will be nice. Yes, we, we have will have two 4K cameras. We're not broadcasting in 4K, because that's insanity. Yeah, and what's more important is they're just really nice cameras. Yes. Um, and then so uh, they'll be very clean shots. And what's nice is that they, they work really well with low light, so we don't need to bring in as much light, yes. which generally makes it easier to, like, light. Because that's one of the issues with film, is that, like, if you need more light, then you need more, um, uh, like, you need to shape that light a little bit. Yes. And, and then you need different kinds of lights and all this stuff. It's just, I think it's much harder to light with more light than less. Oh, yeah, so you we'll, need to be an expert if you're doing high-speed, uh, film. Like, high-speed photography and film. Yeah, it's... Um, um it's, it's, it's not a, easy. And it's... You a, have to have a ton of light. And it's a discipline that, um, I would say that, uh, people don't really, um, have anymore. Um... I feel really thankful because when I started, I, I had to do so much film stuff that like um, I had to like light to like a hundred ISO films. So oh, that's like you wow. know that's that was my training ground with all that stuff. By no means am I an expert, but I've Correct. at least had to do it. The basics, <laughs> you know, at least had to like wrap my head around that. But what's cool about these cameras is we don't need to do that. Jesus. <laughs> 4K cameras for the 4K games. That's yep. right. Gonna upscale uh, 2600 to 4K. Oh my god, this level's a nightmare! Oh my god, I'm just barely... I need that coffee. Oh, I missed it! Oh well. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. You have to land so precisely. Whoa! That messed me up! <sighs> One more and then yeah, we're keep done. Going, keep going. Never been able to complete that level. It's so hard. What if you had to hit the snow speeder? Oh, there you go. Also, we'll be able to get wider shots, which will be nice. Yes, because they're both full frame cameras. Yeah. And um, I'll make sure I do the timing this this year. Make sure it's all synced up. Yeah. Because last year I didn't have enough time. Um, and one camera was off in terms of its sync. It was a close up camera, which we used a lot. And what I'm really hoping to do is, I really this Christmas I'm gonna make like a cloning machine so that I can like have a have can you do all the tech so I can clone so I can clone James so he can both be on the show and running the panel at the That'd same be time. So good. The oh problem is, is uh, he'll re he'll retain half of his memories on one side and half on the other. That's good enough. So we're gonna kind of have his, his, a more childlike James on camera and maybe even more fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be a, a dream. <laughs> And it's not even, like, it's not even uh, a joke, because I filmed my own wedding. 
<laughs> literally oh, filmed man. my own wedding. I set up three cameras. They were all static. I actually had one guy, um, one of my friends helping on one of the cameras, but I did set them all up, the audio and video. <laughs> in, in all the placements, I had all the tripods. All the business. It was silly. It was very, very I used silly. to be that way too, and I'm like less and less that way. So, uh, Rain of Foot put out the numbers there, if you want to read. Rough number is, uh, I don't, what is the context for these numbers? Just How many homebrew were put out? Uh, okay, so in 1995, there's 1, 96, 0, 97, 5, 98, 5, 99, 6. So it's a steady increase. And, <laughs> slow, and then, slow. And then increase. 2000 is 6, 2001 uh, is, uh, it's, oh, so, so 2000 back. is 8, uh, 2000 is 8. 2001 is 12, 2002 is 23, and then it's 25, and then it's 23 again, then it's 67, so in 2005... That's, that's when bump. it exploded. And then 2006, it kind of drops to 39, but 2007, it's up to 75, and then you get like 50 back down, so it's like kind of up and down, mm. but then 2009 is 133, Ooh, then, big jump. then 91, 94, 83, 53, 54, 82... 82, 83, 106 for uh, 2018, and 109 for 2019. So what is very cool to see with that is that the most Steady. homebrews that have ever been released um, are 2009, and then behind that is uh, 2018 and 2019. Wow, so that's it's, good. So there's like 2009 was like the year to be doing this shit ah. for some reason. Um, and then now it's been sort of like steadily increasing because, uh, uh, to the, which is very cool to see. I have to get the second reindeer because I missed the first one. Damn. Oh, I got a hat. Oh, that's extra life. <gasps> Essential. It's worth getting, missing the first reindeer. Oh my God. Yeah, we need that life, man. We, we also need some cookies we need or some, some milk. Cookies really badly. Pretty goddamn soon. I think that might hurt you actually. Maybe. See, there's I'm a cookie get, down here. Bottom, it has to be. Come on, it's right up. Oh, there must be a. Oh, I wonder if there's a way to get that. There must be a way to get that extra life and then get the next reindeer. Oh, did that take it away? <laughs> must have. It was coal. Yeah. Because an extra life would be super handy. Now back to back to normal. So I've only got the two lives. Interesting. Hmm. Cookie. Oh my god. It'd be uh very beneficial to map this game out actually. You just come up with like an optimum path. Yep. So like put top, middle, bottom. Oh thanks, Brian. He sort of threw up like the list for everyone as they asked for it. He's got like a he's got two lists, which is great, like a Google Drive one and a different one. Oh, we don't want down there. Oh, I'm gonna have to do it. Oh, it's okay. It's like, it might make it easier. Oh, so maybe you need to get that to get the extra life to make it through it, because it has to be fast enough. You have to be fast enough to get that. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm here with two lives, so That's good. <laughs> Well, maybe that's just sort of like a fail safe, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like uh, kind of like, maybe it's like you have to sort of die, but you get the second life to sort of that way they don't punish you, like, fully, so that, like, if you, if you fuck up, there's like a... Maybe, yeah. That might be more like that what, might be it. more what their style is. Because there are some games like that, it's like, oh, you went here, you're not supposed to, but we're not going to punish you too much for it. Yeah. Oh, so, um, there's two new games coming out that I'm like... Is it Cyberpunk 2077? No. What? I mean, I'm excited, but you don't it's... like that type of game. No, I love that kind of game. The problem with that kind of game is I like it too much. That's like talking to like <laughs> yes. a recovering alcoholic, being like, "Do you want to have some vodka?" It's like, yeah, Hell yeah, fuck, man, for sure. <laughs> oh, oh, I made it to the first reindeer. Oh, but we miss it. So yeah, you. Oh god. And that's your checkpoint too. Fuck. Yep, it is. Maybe I'll make it to the second reindeer. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, slow down. Oh my god, that would have been good. I need that. Oh my um, god. But uh, Baldur's Gate 3 is coming out. Oh, how long since Baldur's Gate 2? Baldur's maybe Gate 2 came maybe out. 2000 and like 4? Something like that. Oh my god, how are you supposed to get that cup of coffee? I think you just don't. 
And this word I damn. So I'm really excited about that. That wow. stuff looks like fun. They just I don't know what it is, but that's my favorite one of my the pretty much Baldur's Gate 2, I would say, is the best RPG that's kind of been made. Like I can't think of a better game than that one. Yeah. If I had to vote. So having a, a sequel is really exciting. Okay, that's a great score. I did way better than I've ever yeah. done before. We're going to retire on that. Okay, cool. We will come back to this game yet again because... Oh, we can't seem to get past level three. Uh, what's the, what's the I next? I did really good on level three, though. Uh, it is our last game that we are going to, and it is Stay Frosty 2. Stay Frosty 2. Which is just as hard as this game. Okay. It's hard as hell. Uh, but the cyber cyberpunk would be very cool. The outer world is supposed to be really oh, great. Oh, that one looks really good Obsidian too. Obsidian is one of my favorite developers. Um, yeah. So they, uh, that would be one I. But the problem with those games is, is I just basically were looking at me losing a hundred hours that I can't afford to lose. Yep. Um, because if I start playing it, my my completionist sort of like thing will just yeah. take over. Oh, I'll me just, too. I'll it's just like, be... got to do all the. I've got to do all the collectathons and and get all. I have to get yeah. this flower from here and give it to that person. Yeah, and then I'll be googling shit and like all of a sudden you won't hear from me in a week. Like it'll just be bad. Oh, D trains out of here. Thanks for Bye, hanging D -Train. out. Happy holidays, man. So this is uh, Spice Wares. Um, amazing. Oh, I think I remember. This. Stay frosty too. Are you playing? No. So what's the goal again? Uh, the goal of each level is to extinguish all the fire. Fire dudes. Oh. You have to get that broom. Okay. For double jump. Your lives are on the bottom. Your level is in the bottom right. Your score is in the middle. Oh. You can do double jump with the broom. There you go. Uh, I've got the magic hat. I'm not very good with it. <laughs> <laughs> Down the pit. Um, your controller maps is a Genesis pad, James. Yes, it does. <laughs> I've got um, the mapping to uh, the the red button is throwing snowballs, and that will come oh, in man. as uh, level four. Dude, I, I think suck first. at platformer sometimes, like seriously. Um, because um, Sterile Spice Junior reminded me to oh. make sure the mapping is on a Genesis controller, um, so that we can. Oh. <laughs> I you I... can do it. My morale is pretty low. I gotta, get, oh, no. I gotta get some morale back. <laughs> Build up the morale. Oh, and he slides. The, it's so hard. He's a snowman. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not. I shouldn't. I'm, I'm not complaining against the game. It's oh my yeah. Own. Don't melt. Don't fall. And the ice blocks build you back up when you after you've melted a bit. And oh, if they don't jump. Yeah, I tried to, but it didn't seem to work. And there's um, special little add-ons. So so far, I can't even get past the first jump. First level. Yeah, first the first, first big jump. Yeah. There you go. So after you get all the fire guys. What about if I get that present? Does it matter? Those are bonus. And same with all the, the ice cubes. You don't have to get all the ice blocks. Um, they are bonuses. So what I gotta kill oh, these. Oh the hawks. birds? Nope, nope. They don't die. So you have to just just go after the fire dudes. There you uh, go. Uh, 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 uh. Avoid the fire. Avoid the hawks. The fire hawks, which have incredible animation. It looks so. I can't so jump. Beautiful. Can't double jump. Not anymore. Only when you have the broom. Damn. Damn. Yeah, all the bonuses reset each level. No. Oh. Oh. oh rip. Get get those things. There you go. Uh, you're not big enough to uh, get those uh, guys at uh. the top. <sighs> you followed him along. Okay. Uh, phoenixes, fuck. yes, that's what they would be. They would be oh, phoenixes. God. Oh no. Oh no. Sometimes games. See, I'm I'm not good at certain games. Uh, mostly uh, fighting games, one-on-one -on -one fighters. What are those called? that genre? What Street Fighter? What's a Street Fighter uh, like genre? Like 2D. 2D Fighters? Yeah, I feel like. Fighters? Fighting game? I don't know. I think it's also because it's not my generation of games. 
um, is just the reality, because, like, I started on N64, so, like, I started with 3D right. games, and, like, the reality is, is, like, um, there's just different skills, and I did first-person shooters, I did, like... And we've got Spiceware in the chat, oh. which is great, we've got the developer in here, and his suggestion is don't get the ice blocks when you're full, ah. because there is no overage, you don't store it up, so you're kind of wasting the ice blocks. Whoa. You have to get that branch, which opens up. Whoa! Oh no. But you need the ice anyway. It's okay. Yeah. You can make it. Like, per like Prince of Persia is like a, it's a platform, platformer yeah. that like I played. Like, you know, but that's <laughs> not that Prince of Persia, Persia's relationship to like, you know, these is, is very it's, different. It's hardly even a thing. There you go. You made it. Nice. Come on. Okay, so try not to get the blocks when you're full. There you go. This level's not as not as bad. There's the risk of falling. Okay, I don't know it is how I'm gonna low. get that one yet. Oh, it's uh, the carrot. You get the carrot, and that allows you to throw snowballs. Dude, I want this carrot. But it also depletes. What do you. I do? Do I? Th don't do it yet. It oh. depletes you. I thought it would like. Yeah. So there, you have to go up to near that dude and aim it so jump there you go nice in your face get, get all those it's bonus but don't fall down i'm not gonna worry too much okay this is an invisible maze what the bucket okay careful don't get those things because you have a limited amount the bucket shows you the maze but the bucket also enrages the flame dudes so it's better to get the flame dudes without revealing the maze and you're doing Actually, amazing. I am terrible, terrible with invisible mazes. Oh my god, you're doing like incredible. Like I don't that think was that was amazing. I don't know. <laughs> that was amazing. That was exactly how you do that that level. I would love to see Prince of Persia on the 2600. Did I do a Prince? Oh yeah. Whoa. That thing melts you. It's Rip. Hot. It's hot. Um. Yeah. Both games are amazing. Hop right away. There you go. Off, 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 off. Um, did I do a Prince of Persia special? I think I did, because there was... I think I did. Search for Prince of Persia in my archives. Um, because there were starts of Prince of Persia for the 2600. And some amazing... Oh, the thing you have melts you slower. Yeah. So you definitely need that. So don't go on the red. There you go. And open that guy up, get all those guys, and then you have to move all the way back around. Oh, you're not melted enough. You need to melt just a touch more to get in there. Oh no, it's running out, your superpower. Just wait, just wait there. No, 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 don't, it's too risky. It's too risky. No, no, you did too much! You only need one pixel! Now you're gonna die, for sure. In your face, friggin' away. <laughs> oh no. Rip! Oh, you have another chance. Yeah, I love the first two. The so second don't, game. So don't get that snowball. The don't get that snow thing. Because that replenishes all the snow. And you don't want to do that yet. Okay, so now go around. Do not get the snow thing yet. Don't get off there. Get off oh. there! <laughs> oh my god, I don't know if you have enough. You are still super powered, but. The, is there a Floor is Lava game? Here it is. The Floor is Lava on the top levels, but not a pure Floor is Lava. That would okay, be a fun I'm game. You gotta go get on. you gotta get back up there really quick and immediately hop off that. Immediately. Get over to the... Oh, oh rip. You did really good uh, I did okay. for your first try. Uh, oh. When you're blue, you take half damage. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I, um, um, I like the... Uh, the second one is my favorite. Um, it has an, it has, a, it has an, like the Prince of Persia games. Yep. It has a thing that I think is really brilliant. I actually think that like there's a lot of really good lessons I learned from Prince of Persia. Like I've actually been stealing some stuff, some stuff from it. Like in terms of principles for like my D and D campaign. Ah. Um, the two things that I think Prince of Persia does very well that very few games do is it has its. Um, 
it has its like recovery as part of the, the the gameplay itself if that makes sense so like the the, ah! the concept is that you have a time dagger that allows you to reset time mm. so what's cool about oh that God. is that rather than dying you get your second chance so you and so you basically can like replenish yourself but it's because you have like uses of your time dagger i think that's cool because most games have like you die you reset it's just part of the meta it's almost like you you sort of like there's no immersion you know what i mean versus in prince of persia it's like well you get a second go at your game because of a mechanic that's within the story of the game right. rather than just like okay so you have three hearts like what the fuck are these hearts like what what is that right. beyond like just like something that we sort of pretend is just part of the... So you really only have one life. Yeah, you really only have one life, but you have many chances to sort of, Terrible. like, survive because um, you have this time dagger. And so that's really neat. The other thing that it did, too, is it has a time travel element, which I really love in the second game, where mm. you go... There's parts of the levels that basically, like, because you, you're in this, like, crumbled sanctuary... Um, this crumbled area, yeah. and you get to replay most of the game, but in the timeline where um, it's not a ruin. So, like, there's things that there's like secret passageways in the ruins that aren't there during like the uh. main. So it's just really neat because like, and I always I think that's a brilliant thing that I would if I would do if I were an RPG is have the same maps but you change like the time so that way you get to like experience the map say like well um something is like you know during modern times during There's like been some games like that and I think that's such a really terrific like approach because it's like it saves you having to design a bunch of shit it does. I was just gonna say that but it's also fun for players because you also get the easter egg of like oh wait this place I couldn't go so like for example there's a place where like you go to try to get this really like really powerful looking sword and you drop it like in like a thing so yeah. then you go back in time to then retrieve that sword before you dropped it into the thing so there's like mm. i always thought that was just some cool elements mm, that get played you know ah oh, you got it those are and i think those are two things that i've really like learned a lot from also they have like a thing called the dahaka which is just this beast that chases you and is unkillable and i wish Jesus. more games had that in it because i think the idea in an rpg that you can just kill everything yeah is i think kind of not so fun or immersive right. versus the idea that like say there are creatures that are far beyond your capabilities and they're almost impossible to defeat and you just have to run from them. I like that a lot. I wish more games had that element to them too. Because yes. I think a lot of like, particularly RPGs are just god fantasies, which I think is like fairly, um, fairly limited. The Day of Tentacle comes to mind. What's that? Yeah, it's an old um, PC game. I don't know if we got over there. There we go. Um, very quirky, um, point and click game. Yeah. I'll make him mad. <laughs> um, yeah, very fun by, um, I can't remember the studio. But yeah, but I, I guess that had time travel, time elements. I, yeah, it had different... You, you experience the game at two different uh, time periods. Yeah, which is such a great choice because you can, like, storytelling-wise, it opens up all these possibilities, and it saves you having to design a bunch of crap. <laughs> yes. You know, because because designing maps and building maps, I think, is one of the most arduous parts of sort of, like, RPG construction. And if you can, like, recycle your maps but have a new story, I think everyone's totally fine. And also, they do this all the time in, like, New Game Pluses. But they, but it just, they just, like, increase the stats of people, which bugs me. Because if you could change, like, the actual, like, same layout, same everything, but different timeline, well, that's cool. Oh, my you God. Know? Just made it. Oh my god, that was terrible. Yeah, it's very, very exactly. Thrust mechanic. is like, e.g., plant a tree in eighteen hundred and yes. climb up a roof today. See that? See those? Yes. It's the same fucking map, but the shit like that is so cool and so fun. 
I don't know why more people don't write those in. Because, you know, because most games have, like, let's say, like, for example, Diablo has, like, normal Nightmare Hell. Same fucking game. Yeah. But, like, you just go through the things, and every game has a new game plus. But imagine if you have to, like, go into, like, a different dimension, which is the same map, but just different shit. I think it would be cool. As Ramirez is out, thanks for hanging out with us today, man. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha Well, maybe. It is one of those things, too, where sometimes you can aim to be optimum, and in, in reality, you know, just getting through the game. Very true. It is one of the challenges of being a perfectionist. It is. Damn. <laughs> well, I guess, level. I guess there you go. That's, that's why you... Ah! It ain't easy. I'm not gonna risk my life <laughs> to get bonuses. But I'll try. Nope! <laughs> Out. This is the level I always die on. Is it level 10? 9. It's the next one I made it to once. Whoa! Thrust said, in Dot, you play cooperative in different times. That's cool. See, I think that's such a cool mechanic. I wish more people did that. I first saw that in um, Prince of Persia. Obviously, that's not original concept, but... But narrative, so many potential um, things, I think. Whoa. That was a savior. What's this gasoline you do? It's a nightmare. It, re you, it refreshes all the bad guys oh, no. on the screen. He says your controller sucks. It's me. It's not my controller. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do it again. Yeah. Yeah, I'll blame the controller. This stupid controller. Jesus. When in doubt. It's like musicians are like, oh, it's just my reed. It's just my <laughs> strings. It can be, though. If you have an old reed. <laughs> it's true. It's uh, not good. <laughs> Let's do it better this time and not lose lives when I should be losing lives. Yeah, it's not worth losing lives in these early stages. No. Um, so there's a guy who has completed this game. There's only two that I've I can find that have done a perfect, that have got, gone all the way to the end. And it's um. Why not just leave? An extra life. Do you get for it? points? Oh, do you? Okay, cool. And I might as well do it if I can, right? I'm not gonna die on this easy stuff. Okay. That's the thing. Um, Oyama family. Dude, Braid is the ultimate in meta time mechanics. Oh, that's a great game. What is Braid? Um, what it is? It's a platformer. Um, but. You can rewind time at any time. Oh, shit, that's Prince of Persia, basically. I must have predated Prince of Persia. But, like, as much as you want to any point at any oh. time by just pressing a button. Um, and it's also part of the mechanic, too. Yeah, see, Because there. only some things rewind. Some things stay the same. See, I'm so into that. I think that's such a cool style. And And... It's all watercolors braid. It's really nice looking too. It's a beautiful is it a, game. Is it a contemporary or is it a classic? Uh, I would say What's 10 that years ago around. Oh, cool. So it's still, you can probably get it for very cheap on like Steam sales. It's probably like $2 now. Music in braid is apparently awesome. Yes, it is. Oh, everything, cool. everything about braid, the mechanics, everything is unbelievable. But I, I think I know what my Christmas game's gonna be. The one I'll play this Christmas. During Christmas? Is, yeah. Is I'm gonna play um, Call of Cthulhu. There's a 2016 um, remake of it. There's an original game that I used to play on the Xbox called Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth, which yeah. is like in the top 10 games I've ever played. It's mm. so good, but it's also so bad at the same time. 
bad as in addictive? Bad as in um, the mechanics are really rough. The, the the AI is really bad. Like the the trying to like um, you know trying to sneak really doesn't work. Like it's a very there's glitches everywhere. So it's like a really bad game technically. Mm. However, the actual game itself is it, it was the precursor of a lot of stuff. Like Amnesia: Dark Descent is is totally borrows from um, the original Cthulhu. Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. And because also Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth was the first game I played with the first level, you have no weapons. Oh. And you just have to run for like <laughs> almost a quarter of the game. That's a quarter of the game? That's a bit long. And you're like having to hide and sneak and there's like, because the idea is it's so immersive because you're just a dude who's a detective who's going to check out a murder. You don't have any weapons and when you finally find a gun, it's the most satisfying shit ever. Um, but they but they made a new one that's um uh, that's what 2016 game that I just found out about. Yeah. Um, so I'm probably gonna play that because it's uh, story based and I you know what I mean I won't get sucked into some end game shit. Oh thank you Real Cafe hey, man. man for the sub. Thank you so much for supporting us. This is a tough level. Yes it is. Tough and annoying. But it's very doable. Build up because I need all the stuff that I can. Yeah, I need all the help you can get, man. I just need to. Yeah, I guess just Small. wait. Yeah, because then I'm at optimal height. Yeah, what I, I did was um, <laughs> burn yourself was, almost was, to a crisp. It was all. It was nobody. Oh no! Nobody, not... nobody recommended it. Maybe it's not dumb because now I'm not taking half damage. Yeah. I think I'm gonna die actually. We just gotta to... run. Get oh. a Christmas tree. Run, Man, Arena. SD cards, dude. Thanks so much for being here. Merry Christmas. I know this will be the last time we see you until the new year. So yeah, this is the last show. Hey, man. Everyone have like January. A, you have a really good Christmas. We'll, we'll say more about that for yeah. the end of the show. But um, yeah. Oh, I mean, this is the last game. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. We're. This is the last uh, episode for the year. I have to going away for a bit so I can't broadcast and also I have to gear up for the awards um, a lot of graphics I need to make yeah. a lot of video I actually get to make of, of each of the games that are nominated um, which I don't even know what they are yet but um, yeah, to do that, but I have to get I have to prep the graphics oh my god why am I not melting <laughs> it's going so slow one little hop there we go small enough now still not small enough one more hop oh, did I hit it? I don't think so because this game you play it um, through uh, multiple times actually oh my god I have to go replenish now I'm gonna die I'm too small Touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. Um, yeah, this game has 32 unique levels. Wow. And then each time you play through um, the 32 levels four times, oh, I'm gonna. It actually gets harder each time. Oh, my God. You might just run through, grab those blocks. Yep. Oh, I don't think I Oh, no! Right on the edge. <sighs> Damn. Okay. So the thing is, I have to... You, you can't do too well. That's no. the problem with this game. It actually punishes you for doing too well. Yep. So I have to melt a bit quickly. Honestly, I might just run, you know what I mean? Rather than trying to like, you, you know, rather than trying there. to get those blocks. I because just... I have to be small enough to get in there, but also have half damage. Yes. That's the key. Okay. So there's the optimal height. Now I can go back. Retrieve Do the rest of them, and now it runs out. So that's the perfect time. Yeah, now you can like get Build this up stuff. A bit. Damn, damn. And that's how you do it. Well, yeah. So I think those are the only two games I'll probably play in the future: is the Cthulhu yeah. game, and then if Baldur's Gate three comes out, I'll probably. Play. Mm. But other than that, I'm, I'm retired. <laughs> retired. Well, yeah, from like my from own modern gaming. <laughs> we're, we're no retired from sort of playing games oh. outside of the show. Or just, oh yeah. Because you know, yeah. it's just I just can't afford it. Oh, yeah, they are expensive. Like, I mean, but those are. Oh, I don't last mean. I don't mean expensive. Oh, I mean time. time -wise, I just yeah. can't afford the time loss. It's just the reality. I 
forgot that you can just blend over top. Yeah. Now reflect, refresh all these, get all of those. Oh no, what the hell? Just punishes you for being cocky. Yeah. Probably just doesn't allow you to do it on the like rebound, you know? Yeah, you have to build up enough speed. Or something. Or when you replenish that, um... I don't, I don't think that was it. It was something, but it wasn't that. I just gotta be more careful. You have to play through Braid, though. Okay, you okay. You have I'm, to. Dude, if fucking you add... love that mechanic... I do. That's my favorite ultimate. stuff. Okay, I'm gonna add Braid to the list, friend. And it's not that long of a game. It's like... Under 10. Hours. Oh, that's... I can afford 10 hours. See, I think it's like now that you got this thing, it doesn't let you do it. Burp, burp. You need you to can't collect get that last package. Oh my god! I'm losing all my lives on this problem. level. Problem with trying to be like doing everything. Yeah. Probably that block too. I mean, maybe not. Maybe not necessarily the block, but one more, one more. Oh my god, that was terrible. I apologize to everyone watching. It's okay. That I'm useless. No, I'm not useless. <laughs> Oh, dude, yeah, man, that could be our, our like, uh, Christmas thing. We all, we all replay Braid. Let us, let each other know what it's like in the new year. <laughs> I promise I'll do that. I'll, I'll make sure I play it so that we can then talk about it in the new year, because that's, that's a fun thing to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, he says, tell James the level select so we can start on nine. Oh! Not a, not a bad idea. Yeah, I wouldn't have earned it, but, yeah. But, but just so you can show off. See how, how well, after this one, see how well you yeah, if I make it to 9, great. If I don't make it to 9, we'll start off at 9. Oh, Man, those flaming phoenixes are perhaps some of the best design I've ever seen in, like, the Zatari games, man. Because look at it. It's as good. it flaps, fire is exploding. It's, like, got the perfect size. That's some That's some A-plus, like, just design. Oh, yeah. Um, on... Reminds me a lot of his other game, The Dragon in Medieval Mayhem, and I would suspect it's the same designer? Um, Spiceware, uh, can you confirm who did the uh, animation uh, for the Phoenix? Is it related at all to the dragon in Medieval Mayhem? Well, there's a sequel to Dot available for free. Man, I'm stoked that we're all starting to learn about these cool, like, <laughs> time travel mechanics. I think there's so much potential for that stuff, man. There is. Especially because it, because it actually solves some practical design problems, too, of having to generate, like, endless maps. And I also think that players don't have no issue retreading territory they've already treaded if there's new things to discover in it. Oh, yeah. That's sort of the foundation of gaming, almost. It's some, somewhat easier because they're familiar with that Yeah, there's a area. level of... and But then it's, you know, new but different. I mean, that's what every goddamn person tells you about <laughs> entertainment. Yes. Yeah, don't make it too different. People want it want the comfort of something they they understand yet the newness of something to discover that's why um the language of film has evolved over time it can't just jump to something too crazy yeah or else people go oh it's too crazy i don't understand it but then you know you introduce it bit by bit and they're like oh yeah that's cool. like, yeah that makes sense This this level. <laughs> I'm like, no problem. I used to have a lot of struggles with this level. Yeah, it was just it was just luck. <laughs> don't, don't, don't take it. Hate ain't taking no credit for that. Hidden mazes. So I um I hate. went to the doctor yesterday and he looked oh, at my yeah. stitches and he was like he was like, You're too acrobatic. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean by that? Uh, Apparently I ripped two of my stitches. Oh god, you're moving around too much. Yeah. Right? But I, I kind of feel proud of that. 
that you're still active. Yeah, that like I feel like if you if you're not ripping some of your stitches, that you're really living your life. <laughs> <laughs> True. Because I just think that it's like, am I supposed to just atrophy in bed and like shut down my whole life? And you know, that does that seems like a mistake ah. to me. Uh, you gotta melt down a bit. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Not even enough. That's where I almost would just like run across that, like, you know? <laughs> almost. I think that might be a bit dangerous running across. Oh no, I'm running out right now. Because that's the problem is the running out. Is, there we go. No, I'm a tiny, tiny little dude. Just the head. Just a head of a snowman. should see the, the perfect run of this game. Oh, it's by Oyama family. It's probably insane. It's man. insane, and some of the levels he does, he makes it look can easy. I, can I make a, a request? Yes. Can you just keep going and not try to do the special level? Okay, yes. Because it's just points, me. and it doesn't actually matter. Like, I mean, points matter. I, I, but, yeah. But at the same time, I mean, just keep going. Because so I've can... died so many on that. Yeah, I just like to see like more of the game. In this one, it's all about getting those two bloody ca gas canisters. <sighs> Only reset can. Everything resets. See, I, I don't think I'd be able to do this level. I mean, I think... Oh, so you get them before they go? Yeah, because they just reset the fire. So if you get those gas canisters... Oh, I see. There, there's no point in killing yourself over something that's just going to reset, right? And they make their way across. Those bastards, man. What a hard game. Oh. Ah! And then you gotta get back <laughs> somehow. Damn! There's this big pit in the middle. You're doing so much better than I would ever do, James. Though, so, as it is. You said the gas canisters can't just be skipped? No. Yeah, because you kind of gotta, because you gotta fall down onto that one at the end, right? Mm -hmm. Like you could, I mean, you might be able to dodge them, but it's a dicey um, order. He may mean that it's part of the game. Flipping heck! Yeah, and then I got my Star Wars tickets. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you encouraging? I think it might be my last one. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's level yeah. skip. Level skip. Yeah. How do we do this? How do we do the level skip? I need I need some help. What day? I'm going on that might be related to that might be asking a different question. I'm going on December twentieth though. Right. That's the plan. At 420. <laughs> At 420. <sighs> Help me. I, you can do the 19th in the evening, because I always do that with movies these days. Oh yeah, the day before. Yeah. It's, mi it's midnight. I wanted to. I wanted to get something in the middle of the day so that it wouldn't be too busy. How, How do, do I I level skip, friends? You got any level selector equal Easter egg? Okay. I have to look up in Brian Mathern's book. Hold stick a direction when powering up console. Oh god, really? Ooh. Okay. Uh, where's my? You can't skip the gas cans, but you can avoid the ice blocks and still land on the same platform. I'll have to reread that. What that said. Stay frosty. To hold in a direction. Did you see that there's the... So, now I did it. Did you see there's the... <laughs> do it? Now what? Pause. Um, okay, just try one more. Just do one more run, James, and see how far you get. Um, 
and then and then we can call it because I just you know it's not so fun watching us try to do this and I think you doing one more is makes sense and see yeah. if you can get to oh. that guest and let it if you got it in you I do and it and I can I can make it there without losing any lives let's do that that's more fun might be one specific direction. Yeah, and I'm 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 guarantee that you sense. that that makes sense and all that stuff. I just yeah, it's just for the live stream. It's better for us to like be playing a game rather than staring at a loading screen trying to figure out an Easter egg. <laughs> True. Um. Oops. But did you, there, did you see the trailer? When I click on game to select power up option. Oh, yeah. well, that's really GG. Sorry. Um. So like, man, the one the, the one spot. For uh, the new Star Wars movie came out, and holy cow! Mm -hmm. Literally, this is the dialogue. It's three characters driving on like a speeder. One of these like stormtroopers like shoots off. It's flying. One character goes, "They fly now." Turns to another character. The other character says, "They fly now." And they turn to a third character, and the character goes, "They fly now." Oh. That's literally how they're advertising this movie. That's in the trailer. That is in one of the spots. I'm not kidding. I could pull the. So video they want up. all the fanboys to go. Oh, they fly now. Whoa. I just, I'm like, that's that's like that's that's dialogue in this movie. <laughs> that's, that's what we're gonna be experiencing on the. 20th. You're not going to. <laughs> I <am>. Nope. <laughs> I'll get to tell you guys all about it in the new year. I can't wait. Oh, uh, there's gonna be people saying, "Oh, don't spoil it! Don't spoil it! I haven't seen it yet." But that's the benefit of like the. I'll I'll, I'll tell you my feelings. My that's feelings. right. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. <laughs> okay. Also, it'd be fun to. I'll be able to maybe finish the Mandalorian at that point. I can talk about ah. that too. We can do a little... I wonder if you wanted to, James. You I could do, do want to see that. You could do a little Star Wars themed day if you wanted. There's it's up no to homebrew. You. Fuck. It's all original stuff. That's true. Nobody would dare do a Star Wars one. Good point. Uh, Rip. <laughs> Nintendo, Mickey Mouse, and Star Wars are like... Actually, you can do Star Wars. I don't know if they've rescinded that, but... Um, George Lucas used to allow people to do anything they wanted with Star Wars. What a cool as, guy. As long as you don't make money. Whoa. But he doesn't own it anymore. Yeah, Disney. And I don't. And Disney is just brutal about that kind of stuff. Yeah, Disney. I don't mess with the I love that you're throwing parts of yourself to, like, extinguish <laughs> great, this fire. That's great badass. mechanic, right? It's like, well, you can do this, but it's going to hurt you. Yeah, but I'm, I watched a few of the episodes of The Mandalorian, but I, I kind of stopped because I was like, I'm just going to wait till they're all out. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm actually finding that, like, I have to really be into a show to watch it in parts. Like, right. I'm like, I just kind of want to wait for the whole thing to be released, and then I'll just watch it all at once. Right. Because it also actually feels fairly incomplete, like, watching it in sections. Oh, oh yeah, because it's released bit by bit, isn't and it's it? pretty serialized, so it's kind of like not much happens in an episode. Like if you string like the episodes I've seen together, a lot's happened, but like what happens in each episode is like pretty, like oh I guess he this that's all that he did, okay, you know. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with it, but it's like yeah. I think it'll make more sense and be more fun if I just wait till it all comes out. Which is why I can see why Netflix's model is just to go like yo all at once. Yeah, because because that is kind of what we want. Like I don't really. But then there's also the other side where people complain, say, oh I have to wait a, like a year and a half for more episodes. Yeah, it didn't take a long time to make. Yeah film it's a, it's a laborious process yeah the only one that I w i'm watching like week to week is rick and morty just because it's so mm. it's contained 20 minute episodes that have a beginning middle and end and don't really it's, it's it's the only episodic tv that exists anymore really which is really cool that that is still a thing that people make mm -hmm. where it's like a contained like full story beginning middle and end in 20 minutes because that's a style of entertainment that's kind of almost gone the way of the dodo yeah, I mean, there's a lot of broadcast network shows. Still. But but are they? Good. <laughs> That's the thing. Because uh, mm -hmm. Community and Mick, Rick and Morty are really the only two things I can think of that really kind of consistently delivered a new good product every week that was its own thing, you know? Right. In, in the contemporary times. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Ah, Dude, 
Viceware just dropped some seriously cool link, man. Star Wars uncut, fan-made version of the entire Star Wars movie made from a uh, 48... Thousand second clips submitted by numerous people. Oh, I've heard about it. That's really cool. What is that of exactly? That people make tiny. T they, they were handed out. People would sign up for parts of the film, and, people, and they would make it through animation. They would do it through real life. They would do it through. That's a. I gotta, I gotta watch that. Stop that's motion. Such a cool thing, man. That's why the internet rocks. I'm so happy the internet exists for things ah. like that. Whoa. Bad move. Actually. Playing with so, fire, literally. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, good. With all lives. Yeah. I. This is a leap of faith uh, level. Whoa. Yeah, if those guys touch you, you lose your carrot. Lose your carrot. And they attack you. And I have to get up to the top there. It's hard being a snowman. Ah! Oh, do I still have it? No. Whoa. And I'm almost dead, too. No! What a hard level. At first I was like, this shit's easy, James. Yeah. Nope. Cool mechanics, friends. Damn. Well you gotta you gotta you got some health, so you got another couple goes of this. I'm happy we just redid it, because I feel so much more like properly accomplished on yeah, it. Yeah, I feel like we would have kinda we feel better about ourselves now, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And that is important in this crazy world. Now I don't get that snowflake. That's the thing. Drop straight down here. Get these dudes. Yeah. Get that. <laughs> get that. <laughs> and then somehow. What if you double? Up, what if you good. double jump onto the second platform? You see what I mean? Yeah. Like. Double jump. Yes. Oh my god. <sighs> New level. Oh my god. Oh, this one is. Nightmarish. <laughs> <laughs> this one is about like. <laughs> Go, yeah. Whoa! Holy fuck! I remember this. Okay, I'm understanding about... like why this game is this is so big and it's gonna take so long to do. Like, holy cow! Holy cow! This is about pipes and using them wisely. Pipe dreams. Damn it! Run out of pipe. Okay. Now I need that pipe for those dudes right down there. Yeah, there's dudes. no way you can do them without that. So I need to wait for that platform What level to come 11? Back. Yeah. Oh god. Damn it. Dude, he said the tie fighter scene is made with bow ties. That's hilarious. I love it. Oh, we'll do that guy. Get the carrot. Get those things. Because you gotta kill that guy with the carrot. Oh what do those god. big ass buckets do though, man? Uh, they replenish you completely, so it might be a good time to use one. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Oh, I can shoot that guy. Nice. I don't want to do that yet, but I have to. I just do it. Might as well get these things first. Good idea. And then replenish everything. Whoa, what a tough level. <laughs> Maybe just keep pushing back. Yep. And loop around again. Get these things. Ooh, I gotta go on that. I gotta go on that to get back up. This has a tough timing you gotta do. Or else you don't want to loop back to this. Yeah. 
I will have to to finish the level, but I want to... Oh, you know what the best Star Wars game is? Is Knights of the Old Republic. That's a really good one. Perfect. I think I can finish it now. Nice, the old public. Yeah, that was um a developed by Bioware, who also did Baldur's Gate and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, I got a time. No, I don't have time. This. You bastard. Yeah. Is uh, uh FPS? Um, it's a third person. Oh, okay. But the problem is, is it should be an isometric game because it's the mm. same. It's the same mechanics as any isometric one, but it's it's a proper like full cool game. Is this just a normal? That's the close. It's almost honestly nice. Of their Old Republic feels more like a Star Wars movie than any Star Wars movie. Like it's really good. It has like twists and reveals and it's good yeah. shit. Oh, just a massive bloody level. I need that broom. Yeah. Hey, it's Hari. You came right, visit the best buddy. Or not. Oh. Yeah, but my bandages are off now. Oh, good. So now I just have, like, band-aids and stuff on there. Oh, that's much better. So he, he was mad about you wrecking your stitches, but they, they were done anyway? Yeah. We so he pulled two of them out. He was like, they're already wrecked, so whatever. <laughs> whatever, you got, ruined he, it. He basically just got pliers and just like, oh, don't push me off. Oh, good. And I was like, whoa, is that what we're doing? Is that really what science has taught us? Just that's, that's all we got for stitcher, stitches <laughs> removal? Just a plier. Yep. Which makes sense. I mean, I guess what else, what else would I yeah. possibly need? But I think I nailed it because the receptionist was so happy to see me. Um, and I think she actually even snuck me in early. There's not much ice, but I need to get somewhere. I think I need to replenish my ice. Yeah, it's over there. Oh god, it's way up there. Way where I don't. Nice. Ooh, you might have this. I might just have this. Nick a time, man. Let's get those. Nice. <sighs> okay, carrot first. Oh, only one jump. <laughs> it's like yeah, trying to double jump. Yeah, you get used to the like oh, this hawk just. Oh, is he gonna be a chasing hawk Phoenix. or is he gonna be a nice hawk? Oh my god, he's a chasing hawk. Yeah, because you got that carrot. Right? Oh yeah, chasing hawks. Damn. Carrots equal chasing hawks. Okay, so I'll I guess you gotta catch wait. Him on the back. Oh, I gotta hop over him for sure. Bastard. Oh, he only cares when I have a carrot, does he? Exactly. Hmm. Well, it's because he's hungry. He wants food, man. This is gonna be the death of me. It's like it's the it's the only nourishment he's got, man. He's got flames, he's got presents. Oh. <laughs> Throw a snowball at bird. Oh yeah, that's right. <sighs> Friends! Oh you saved their butt. Yeah, jump, jump. Jump like to the right, I guess. Yeah. Damn. Okay, well, we got we our got something. We know what I think we're it's doing my last now. life, though. Thanks so much, Spice. Where you saved our ass? Yes, you did. You have nothing. Oh, it'd be so hard. I don't think you can do it, really. Can you? Well, let's get that one up there. Or not. There's a, yeah, I wouldn't bother. A hawk up there. I would oh, just I could go down this side. And I just jump because you yeah. got more than enough health, right? Oh my god. Why do I want to deal with that? Because I have to shoot that guy up there. Yeah, so okay. you gotta freeze these guys for sure. Oh, I don't have my carrot! Yeah, because you, you kinda tried to like get all those ones. Oh, now I die. I don't even have enough snow. 
Oh, because I was here. Oh, did he get me? No. Oh, now he did. Damn it. Yeah, you kind of need a good grunt at it, you know? Hey, Nathan. Hey, Nathan. Welcome. Good to see you, man. I think that was it. I, I can't remember what level, and it's not showing me. Oh, continue. Why? Yes, I'm yeah, good. fuck. Fucking hell yeah. I forgot about that you can continue. Can you? Oh, that oh, would have nice. changed everything. <laughs> I just didn't leave it long enough. Now I don't know if I would you like gather up all those materials. I mean, at least these. And then I'll wait till I go back. I might just like freeze like the top one almost, and then the bottom one. Right. I can't. Yeah, you're just gonna have to do it. Yay! Uh, really? Might need. No, I don't Do know. I not have a double jump? No, you don't have enough snow. Maybe you need to get the double jump, like, over to the right, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I just have to do it in two passes. I might just explore, like, this full area. Mm. So, you know, to so, sort of know what we're aiming at here. Like, I might not, I might just, like, for this round, just rather than trying to collect all this shit, just, like, run and, like, yeah. just see what this whole area is. Because, like, we don't know if there's another, like, how, what, what, we, what we even need to do. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, you can collect this carrot and whatnot, but, like, I don't know if that's actually what we should do. Because if you need to get that broom, you might it might be wiser to get the broom and then come back and grab the carrot, because that might be easier to navigate this stuff, right? Maybe. Because I just don't know what I just don't know what we're dealing with here. Death, death, and death. <laughs> Oops, I did that. Because like, yeah. Get on the way back. Now, there's no double jump. Uh, but I jump and see if there's another area. Okay, no, no there isn't. This see, is the end. So you I think you it. just have to do it in two passes. Ooh, you can get that guy. But it's not enough time. Like, Yeah, it does deplete you. That's that's what makes this game so hard. Six, six, six. Uh, in your face, birds. I almost have to save those. Really? Uh, nice Anything with the hawks. <laughs> it's been really challenging. Yeah, it's thank been a God we of... learn how to snowball these guys or else. Because there's been a bunch of levels in between them, and I'm like, eh, I'm fine, it's not too bad. Just avoid that guy. Don't even need to freeze him. Mm. Mm. Did you try to summon Santa? Satan? <laughs> I think Did I don't, whatever you whichever one, no idea. Man, I've tried that every goddamn day, <laughs> never listens to me. <laughs> yeah, he's got some good powers, but he never listens. No, man, he's... <sighs> there's nothing left. There's no, there's no snow left to replenish me. A hard game. Yeah, and there's 32 levels in this. What level am I on? He said, I just heard 666 wasn't watching. Oh, right. That was my score for a moment. Yeah, we're trying to... Ah! Oh, you can get hit twice. This game, this level, is really oh, hard. It's infuriating. It's okay. But Just what level is it? I, I keep missing. It's seeing. 13, I think. Very apt. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> I was all melted. I only have one more container though. Thirteen. Yeah. So hard to to plan that too, like to get that precise. Nope. It's a hard one because you kind of really have to almost just get it on the first go. Oh, I don't need to... I don't need to freeze that second guy. Okay. So I might... Can... Oh. <laughs> no. You don't have to use snowballs on all the birds. You can manipulate the timing of the birds by jumping them and making them yeah, change I've... directions. Especially the two to the right. Yes. Oh, the two to the right. Oh, okay. I'll try it on the two to the right, because that's what I'm having trouble with. birds, man. Damn. This one, you you have to. We kind of found that out. But the rest of them, I guess, no. Because they, they, they fly far enough away. So let's see this one. Yeah, that would have worked if you yeah, just if I slightly hit it. Oh my god. Oh, the weather outside <laughs> is... <laughs> it's very frightful. Don't jump up till you get that bird. There we go. This is the boss level. This is not even like, this is not... Oh. My God. Uh, yeah. Oh. No. Yeah, we got 666 again. <laughs> Were we? Satanic. You know, you get that score. Scores are like not even numbers. They're all over the place. Isn't it weird that like people will build buildings and not include a 13th floor? Yeah. Like what the hell? Like, do you think that the people on the 14th floor don't know what's going on? They just don't want to be labeled with that. But like, what's the what's the difference? Because you are on the thirteenth floor. You are. Well, it depends where you count up from. Is the basement the first? Sometimes zero floor is the first. Like in Europe, it's different uh, counting system for floors. Messed me up when I went there. I was like, what the hell is happening? Uh, the first floor is not the ground floor, or is it the opposite? The first floor is the ground floor. I think I'm gonna be done. <laughs> oh my god! Oops. One more. Whatever it is here, it's the opposite there. It's just a strange, strange thing that we do, you know? Yeah. The superstition about this number to the point that we'd rather live in like an, like a fake reality where we're pretending that like a floor isn't the floor. Thank God, I finally did it. Now what? Now you gotta jump and hit. At the right time, though. Exactly. Hooray! Now do it one more time, and I win the level. Oh, I retained it. Did you? Yeah, I still have the, the nose. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, nightmare. Okay, I don't know what's gonna happen nightmare now. Fuel. Yeah, they are an abstract idea. Anyways, that's my feeling. Which? Numbers? Numbers. Yeah, they are. But people have strong associations to it. Asian cultures hate the number four because it sound, sounds like... Well, in Chinese language, yeah. four sounds like death. This pronunciation is similar to death. Weird. So they won't, uh, usually uh, people of Chinese background won't buy houses with four, won't take phone numbers with four. Weird. Yeah. The level so where you run out of ice. So it's the same as 13 ice. for a lot of cultures, right? The level where you run out of ice. That's this level, man. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta, like, somehow hit these guys, right? Yep. And that's only, the only way you're doing that is with those balls. I think I can balls. do it from here. One step closer. Got him. One more, and I think I get that guy from the left. Yeah, and like scoop up as much ice as you can on the as way. It's melting. And... Damn, what a hard game. Yeah, I just collect it all at this point. Oh, yeah, for sure, because it's the last thing I have to do. Oh, it's lost. Kind of. It's almost all gone, but. Oh! Ah! Wasting time getting tiny bits of ice. Yeah. I'm just gonna make it back, which I have. Enough ice to do. Well, let's just go for it. I like the smiling face that stares <laughs> at you as you pass by it. <laughs> the yes. sun? 
Yeah, look at that little smiling face. And the animation of everything in this. Look at the guy that you control. He's kind of, oh, oh, and he smiles. So good, man. I think it's the farthest I've ever seen this ever. Hands down. Definitely the farthest I've ever been in this game. Okay. Should I jump there? No. Try and save this ice here. Don't you have the double jump? I do. Oh my god. Pit of hell. Is there more ice on the other side? No. Can I make it up there? No. Oh my god. So troll. Damn it! I can make it back to the left, though. It says to catch the rest in reruns. Yeah, man, thanks. Is it, did he design this game? Am I crazy? Who? Uh, Nathan Spice Strong? No, no, no. Uh, did he have a hand in it, though? Could be. What's to the right, though? Yeah, we need that stuff, but like, I'd be very curious to know that. How you like to? Oh, continue. continue. Maybe one more. Sometimes video games one means one. No, oh, that's it. It's the best run I've had. Yes. Not bad. Now that I kind of know. And I'm better. happy that we didn't cheat. Yes. Feel so much better that I feel way. Feel better about myself too. Obviously, a masterpiece of a game so as good. a platformer. Um, probably the, at least the hardest platformer. Um, one of with the most mechanics. Too. Yeah, definitely. Um, I really like Panky the Panda. That one's a, oh, that's a slog, but I did win that game. This this to me it took me like four hours. This Why game, I think, is the niece and nephew game. This is the game that you gotta over Christmas. Everyone out there, plug this in. Get someone who's between the ages of 8 and 13 yeah. and just say good luck. Don't even, like, tell them what the game is and yeah. watch them just... Because I think this would be a really fun game for a little kid trying to figure out the double broom, trying to, like... Because it's actually, like, you don't need to explain it to them. They'll figure it out, and it'll yes, be more fun for it them. it would be. And then, and, and also, everyone likes platformers. Everyone can understand this. I yes. think that, like, obviously it works for people who are older, but I'm just saying that if I, if I got a recommendation for you, plug in some Stay Frosty too, <laughs> and see yes. how the, what the little kids think of it. If I was going back and I had an Atari, I'd see what my little sister thought of this, for sure. It'd be oh, fun yeah. to see her try to figure it out, you know? <laughs> it's like, you think games are hard now? Yeah. Try try some Atari 2600 games. Yeah. Oh, it's not easy. So, um, Spice Warrior says, Original Stay Frosty was Nathan's idea. Ooh. He designed a big uh, a big part of Stay Frosty 2 as well. So, it's a collaboration. And we got the developers, both the developers yeah. of this in, in the chat. That's amazing. And I'm... Uh, and I supposed to made the first game. Ah, oh, dude. Which it's is such Frosty, a good run of it, stuff. And we kind of started and ended it on a Frosty note. You know, started is. with... A frosty hack by I supposed to. That's true. Ended on Stay Frosty Some chilliness too, and... um, by Spiceware and Nathan Strong. Um, played 2019 Xmas Invaders as well. Fun little yeah. hack twist on it. Hey Atari, one up here. We played QB hack, hack port development further for the development because yeah. the guy hacked his own game. Uh, so it's not really a hack. It's hard. It's hard to define things. And put put them in little boxes, perfect little boxes sometimes. Yeah, and it is, and it's okay not to put things in per, per yeah, little boxes there's all gray the time areas too. Sometimes. Like the world's a complicated place. Obviously, it's nice to have to figure that stuff out, but yeah, for generalizations, it makes it easier. But sometimes but, you know things are complicated, and it's yeah. okay to let oh, things be what I they are. I suppose it was part of Stay Frosty too. Fuck man, we made the Stay Frosty two music. We got everyone here. I love it so it's much. Amazing. Oh, you're welcome, Repentless Fiji. It was it was a fun little twist on on um, the Christmas hey, uh, theme, what are we and, doing and that's what we do. We play we we try and theme things, and I'm glad there's still Christmas games we haven't played, and we can revisit that we haven't played oh, all the way through. And Thomas Yench did uh, some of the sound effects, music, wow. contributed. So some of these big games are are collaborative effort. It makes sense. This is a good game, man. Oh yeah. The level design is game. amazing. The graphics, the animation. You want to blow music. some kids' minds? Yeah. Stay frosty too. Oh yeah. I'm playing Reindeer Rescue. I uh, got a lot further than before. 
Um, still not happy with my performance. Yeah. Because I think I can finish that third level for sure. Oh, Cafe Man 2D switched it over. That's hey, good. Cafe Man 2D. Played through Stray Fosty 2, does that count? Uh, the full game? Did you do the full game, Lynn McAllister? I Lynn think you McAllister. did. I think that's the other person that did uh, posted the screenshot. Um, let me just see. Are you French, Lynn McAllister? Oh, don't go on the computer. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, don't put that up there. Cafe Man was already taken in Twitch. That's what happens. The outrage. It's tough. I mean, if I were... <laughs> I, I feel like a cafe man. Yeah, so. whenever the new technology comes that I... I do. No, he's typing. Dude. Tari wants to type back in the chat. He's trying to, like, send a message to his... Repentless VG, you won Stay Frosty 2 from Stalathon? Wow, 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 wow. Because I was... O Oyama family played through the whole thing, and I think they played that for the... Oh, from... Oh, one Stay Frosty 2 from Stella. Oh, won the game Stay Frosty 2 from Stella. Ah, I see. That's what it was. So the, the bidding on the items. Well, congratulations. That's a that's a great reward signed by Spiceware. There was a whole bunch of stuff. That Spiceware it. donated. He donated so much. That was amazing. Uh, have you seen the boss of level 32 as a full screen tall? Well, let's play that because the video of it, because I will never, ever, yeah, let's, ever let's get there. Yeah, shit out. In level 32. Maybe I will, but I doubt it. It's so hard. Oh, I like that. The, I forgot that the snowing is uh, was it's happening still there? the whole time. <laughs> I don't know. It yeah. is. It's like it's so, I'm like surprised by it. I'm like, whoa, was it snowed? In? Okay, let's go there. Oh, God. Oh, yawning like Tanya does. Well, it's just because I, just the end of the. Okay. Game, you know. Let's switch over. Don't think we can go full screen there. Let's hide the chat. Let's all position it while you guys are watching so you can see it. Oh, not yet. I can still see my shortcuts. We're so close. Oh, I think I can go full screen. That's be fun. Oh yeah, there we go. Because full screen equals the exact thing. Perfect. So, so this person's ripping through, doing a good job. Oh yeah, 21, 22, 28. Uh, it's 28 still. 29. 30. 31. Yeah, we're getting close. Whoa. Oh, I think I looped around. So I think he, yeah, there we go. She's so probably about it's to almost happen. there. Yeah. Okay. There's the boss. Damn. <laughs> Level thirty-two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, different style. And look at that. All you have to hop on is like things up above, lava floors. You can get full restoration. You can. And you've got like. You have to manage your ice. And you've got a bunch of carrots. Plus you've got like. Yep. So you can throw things. Plus you can get like full. Now he's going back, getting more ice, building himself up. And, and he's got the pipe. And now he's gonna go in. He's gonna throw. Oh my god. He's depleting himself. He's gonna have to go back. Oh, he just barely That's the survived. Only option. He's gonna have to hop quick, replenish himself down there, and go back down. I think he's got it now, because he's got. Uh, Invincibility. Wow, it was just a kamikaze health. move you had to make. Double health. There we go. Whoa, okay. That's Not good. impossible, but that's challenging. What is he doing? He's going back getting... for points. I think so, yeah. Yep, there we go. Yeah, because when, when, you when you're at this level, points matter a lot. You beat the fire boss, but it's getting hotter. Can you stay frostier? So each run through of 32 levels, you melt faster. Well, and look at and this. Faster. Now this has like heated blocks. Look. Oh, it is. It does actually change. Hey, man, this is like what I was talking about with like yeah. Prince of Persia, where you can recycle the same maps with new quality. Portal had the same choice too. This didn't change. It seems the same. Oh, this... Yeah. 
Looks the same. Might be so oh, probably t more fire guys at the top instead of one. There's two. Is this possible? So let's go to the final, final boss. Yeah, let's see how. I think it's the same. Same look. Probably just slightly different. Obviously, you melt faster. Something tells me that well, probably if you can beat the boss on one difficulty, he's probably not too hard on the end. But actually, maybe not because. He, Look, he, he wasn't able to, like, kill it in one now. And he has to hop to get out of the way to time it. Because now he's got to get the full... He would have to use that tub again. Like, the last tub that he got as a bonus, he would have to use that to fight him. Oh, no, he's still doing good. How many tubs does he have? Oh, I see. He was very close. He almost... Oh, he still has a tub. Yeah, he's good. He's just really he's good. Just like... wow. Way to go. You saved Santa. You stayed the frostiest of them all. That's the end of the game. I love it. Atari, please rescue me. I prefer NES. What? <laughs> You've seen the boss. It's not a full screen tall, but it's like half a screen. That's a big boss. I don't even know how he did that. Must have done with Playfield. I want to look at that again, actually. Actually, I can't tell. But... No, it's smooth movement. Oh, I wish I could analyze that. Let's skip to level 32 and look at it. It's like Playfield Yeah, you'll have to with figure guys. out how to do the like little um, uh, Easter egg if you ever wanted to Or is he that. just doubled? He's just a triple-sized guy. Oh, two, two characters, triple-sized, or double-sized, and yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, that is lots of fun. That is an amazing accomplishment, that game. So if anybody doesn't have that, definitely run out and buy it. Four times player. Okay. Excellent. So, that is the end of the show. I want to, um, before we say bye to everyone, um, this is the, actually the end of the year. Yes, the last the show of the year. Season two finale. Uh, we started in March originally, so I don't know if that's a good... Maybe that can be the... We can start it as this is season end of season two. That's not what it feels and then make like. Make January the beginning of season three. That's my feeling. Because it makes sense because then we have the award show and it kind of wraps up nicely. So end of season two. Yeah. Um, and we have a little break for Christmas. Funny enough, the last Christmas was a huge number of people watching because they're at home and they've yeah. got and it's indoors. People aren't outdoors. Summer it just dips the number of mm -hmm. people watching. Um, so it's kind of a bad time to take a break, but. I need the break. I need the break. Just like everybody else needs the break. And and it's a good time to take it off for the award show so I can gear up for that and get that ready. So that makes, that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, then you can come back with a hit, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, maybe refresh the look of the show a little bit, you know? Yeah. And change some stuff up. But that's pending but that's, if I have time. Yeah, there's steps, <laughs> you know. A lot of stuff, and... especially while working on the award show. Um, so we'll be back... January uh, something. It's not the first Wednesday because the first Wednesday is like the first and yeah, that's a bit rough to, to jump back in there. It's the third, so that'd be a Friday um, with Tanya. Actually, it's a 6 p.m. show. Um, and we've got uh, Hugo Hunt and Pilot X cool. queued up already. Because <clears throat> I think Thomas Yench pointed those out to me. That's like, awesome. Oh, I've never even heard of these. Because they, one of them wasn't even posting the Atari Age forums, so sometimes it's hard to find out games. Um, and then we're back to the reg regular schedule, and the uh, Atari Awards is on February first, noon Pacific time. Uh, noon Pacific time, three p.m. Eastern, eight p.m. GMT. Everybody will be able to watch it. It's during waking hours, normal hours. Um, so I want to thank. Any, anything you want to say? Before we sign off oh. about, the, about the year. Wow, I should have thought up something to say. But I guess I'll well, just talk from the heart and like kind of... Just a short thing, because we're going to do kind of a recap on the award show as yeah. well about the year, a bigger recap. We can, we'll be able to do that. I guess yeah. I guess the big thing is just it's been like a really weird year for me. Like I've had a lot of stuff kind of come and go and it's nice to have like the foundation of it. I think that like it's really interesting because like halfway through the year i was just a straight like video game addict like i was just uh, fucking completely lost in that world for a bit it's been interesting kind of climbing out of that hole and trying to like re change my life a little bit so it's weird because it's like this is like weirdly like 
connected to that, but at the same time not. Right. You know, it's nice to sort of like have the social side of things. And but I guess it's just like I've been lonely my whole life, so it's nice to have like a like a place to come to every week and hang out. I think it's yeah. like it's good for me. I like you know? that too. Some um, some constants in your life that is they're they're always there. Yeah, and they're always fun. You know, you're gonna have some uh, fun time doing it. There's no pressure even. It's not. You don't have to do anything. Yeah. You don't have to perform. You just be yourself. Talk. And it feels to me like video games have always been something that I've done um, alone. They've always mm. been something for me that is like, um, I never really got, I never really was able to like connect with people. So I would sort of go into like my room and play on my dad's computer or I would like, and the only way I could connect with people was like through games. And so now that I've gotten older, it's nice that I'm like able to like, you know, cause I was more when I was like a little kid and, yeah. but it's neat to sort of like have this be more of a social thing rather than something that I'm just doing on my own. And I think that's probably the, the trap that I was falling into this year over the summer more than any other time was just getting into this place where it was like I didn't have I just didn't want to be around like I didn't want to like I didn't want to I want all I much preferred living in like this crazy video game world mm -hmm. um and it's nice to do the show because it's like connected to that thing that I love that I've always sort of reached to and has been comfort for me but now is like something that um is more social and I get to talk to you guys and I get to like Sorry, buddy. That's my camera. Come here. Rather, you know, um, but no, to have like to be able to like connect with 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 all of you and, and yeah. to connect through games because I do I do think that like I've never I've never been the guy to have a community and it's neat to sort of like be accepted into this weird world and, <laughs> and, and it's weird. But once again, it's yeah. this weird thing in my life where it's like on one level I I'm like I'm like the little kid in the room again you know right, like it's this yeah. funny thing where it's like you know because all you guys i think are like much older than me so it's just i don't know i hope it's like i hope it's cool to sort of like see these games through my eyes maybe and like i try to see them through your guys's eyes if i can you mm -hmm. know just to sort of imagine what it would be like to be in the 80s and what this stuff meant to me and i'm i'm, I'm building more of a connection i think to this this world but i think my way in is the creativity like your guys' creativity, like creating games the and, roof. and going in. And, and it feels, I said this on the, on the show last time, but it feels pure to me. Like it feels like you guys are doing this because you want to do this. Because this is your love, not because you want to oh, make yeah. money or like try to get something from me. And I think that's how it feels oh. these days more and more, you know. Oh, there. RC70 says he loves your narratives on the game. Oh, yeah, man. I love talking about this stuff. And it's cool that like I get to sort of be get to learn more about this stuff and like you know it's uh, yeah it's been it's really cool and like even like i've been writing something new which mm -hmm. james knows about um mm -hmm. and we've been kind of working on it and it's related to the show it's related to a lot of stuff in my life and it's interesting because i wrote a little easter egg a couple little easter eggs into it <laughs> yeah. that's related to this show and you guys it's will like it yeah, and I looked at that and I was like, man, if I didn't do this show, I never would have been I never would have put those in there. And that makes me really happy. Yeah. And and it's uh video games have become an isolationist type uh pastime mm -hmm. and bringing it back to a community yeah. and even the two of us playing the games in the same room or you know when all four of, oh, of yeah. the co-hosts get together, it's it's a really fun time. So it's a, a it's a special special thing that i look forward to yeah me too and um and i'm, I'm really glad i do look forward to it because it's uh, it's it's great it's a great thing to do for to give back to the community that yeah. we've gotten so much enjoyment and from. i and i feel like i've really got weird this is a weird thing but i feel like i've come to learn more about myself through this process strangely of trying to be myself more in front of other people because that's something i've mm. always found hard i've always felt like i needed to like who i am is not something people would necessarily like want to connect with yeah. so i think i've made the and i think it's a young person trap of trying my best to sort of be something that i'm not and i really from day one with this show i was like well i'll just try to be myself in front of camera and yeah. i feel like it's getting easier but it's weird because it's like you know who would i guess maybe that is just how it goes it's just a, a slow process of slowly peeling back the layers of like who am I? Yeah, I'm sure if you look back at the first <laughs> episodes you were on, you'd be like, oh my God. Totally different dude, you know? Yeah, less, like you were more, ugh. Yeah. Now well, you're like really relaxed um, and comfortable because, you know, yeah, you know, it's going to be fine and, and it's, you're accepted into a community that you, you thought that you were an outsider in to, be, to begin with, right? Yeah, and I find myself bringing more of that 
attitude into different places of my life and being more myself. And I've have a kind of now I have a group of friends that really just started maybe even six months ago, and mm -hmm. that's also helped me transition out of being just in my you know alone in my kind of apartment and just playing games, you know, yeah. being around people more. And that and these are the people I started this D and D campaign with, and we'll maybe go see like a movie. And I think that's yeah. also why I don't want to go back home because I want to like I want to kind of like get to know this sort of new group because i've never had a group before and it's right. you know and it's not like a massive th thing but it's people i connect with and i don't know that feels good That's i just good. i guess i'm growing up a little <laughs> bit you know yeah slowly but surely yeah this this is doing this is in my blood i, <laughs> I have to do this yeah because you this is an obsession i've been doing this kind of thing <laughs> since like 99 when yeah. i first streamed on the internet it was an audio he really likes that bag that's okay um, I just don't know if I'm scratching anything and it's inside. It'll be okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I did audio radio broadcasts on the internet back to 1999 yeah. when it was first kind of accessible to the average person. And I've just never stopped. It's always, <laughs> it's always changed in yeah. different formats, but this is kind of a nice merge of two things. You know, a love of video games and playing, but also broadcasting and organizing and and really uh, highlighting a community at the same time and the community embracing it in return and it's just it's yeah. a lot of things have really clicked really well with this show so i'm i'm glad people really like uh, come back week yeah. after week um and and enjoy what we do and enjoy what we are trying to contribute back to to the community and it, um, by highlighting and showing off all the games that this this community makes amazing amazing stuff and i think one of the things i've really learned over the last two years doing this show is that i think that doing something like this is something i think will kind of continue to do into my future like whether yeah. that's a podcast or whether that's you know doing lectures or, or whatever i just yeah. can i can tell that like me being in front of the camera because i've always been a writer i've always been uh, all that stuff but i've never been in front of the camera as much mm. as on this show and i studied acting and i hated it like but i think <laughs> i've always like you know I, it's never that that's never been my thing but I think doing something that's related to podcasting, something that's related to this, will be something that I, I think I probably will. Now I've learned that I like it, and I need yeah. to probably do it. And I'm, you know, obviously I'm not gonna swing that way right away, but I just yeah. I could see myself ten years from now having a podcast and doing yeah. some more stuff like this you know myself and you know in the way that you kind of like were the guy that was like let's take <laughs> Erlen and put him here I, yeah. I i could see myself you know maybe when, when i'm your age trying to find a young person and sort of mm. put them on camera and like give them the opportunity <laughs> yeah. you've given me because it's yeah. been really really i just feel really like thankful and lucky that i've that i've been able to have this experience and will continue to yeah well i'm, I'm really glad you like <laughs> like, <laughs> like doing it because uh I definitely can't do this on my own. I need somebody who's, yeah. who's there and and the unique position you're in. You're, <laughs> you're into video games, but have no knowledge of old video games. <laughs> it's true. It's which like... is like a fish out of water point of view for yeah. this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it's it's really unique, um, but and, and lots of fun. But anyway, blah blah blah. Yeah, well, um, but that's a, that that's a that's a confessional, uh, emotional season two. Uh, ending monologue that's yeah. the best i can do for now i'd love to give you guys more than that at some yeah. point but it's um, the best i got i still have uh an episode to release uh, it's the interview with dion olstud olstud mm -hmm. um so that'll be coming up probably mid next week now that i'll have a little bit more time it's uh partially done um so have no fear yeah. there'll still be some more zero page homebrew and uh, anything I run across, I always put on my uh, yeah. Instagram and Facebook accounts. And I'll be doing updates about the uh, award show as well. So keep yeah. watching all the social media stuff. So let's thank everybody. <laughs> Boots and Buddhist, hey. Oh, yeah, it's pretty late. <laughs> oh, shit, man. One last thing. Um, there's a weird cosmic thing that's happening. I have to try hard not to like get emotional about this, but oh, okay. this is really weird shit. But um, my favorite podcast um, uh, it has its last, had it la had it la had its last episode on Monday. Oh, okay. And this evening Which I'm going it? to, it's called Harmontown. Oh. And this, this is going to be the last one that exists. And it's weird that the end of 
this season oh, too and coincides yeah. you know and i feel like listening to that podcast over the years has also i've used and learned things that i think i use in the show if that makes right. sense like i grew up listening to kevin smith um tons of his stuff and yep. i was always listening to podcasts and it's sad because to think that the harman town it's probably my favorite it is my favorite podcast has is ending mm. and it's just i just realized while i was sitting here i was like i'm gonna listen to the last show tonight yeah and that's really sad so it is an ending of a lot of things too it, it does feel like right now this season feels like an end of a lot of stuff in mm. my life and mm -hmm. it's weird to I don't know what this 2020 is going to look like, but <laughs> I tell you, man, it does feel like an end of a decade for me. Feel, I mean, also <laughs> 20, 28, yeah. right? Like, oh, okay. That's yeah. that's how old I am, and it's yeah. weird. I'm coming up on 30 soon, so it's it's wild. It's I'm excited <laughs> for this last little bit. Ah, uh, I take it day by day. <laughs> I, I, I don't section things off like that. Yeah. Um, life is pretty much a series of endings. Gets worse as you get older. I, it must be militant Buddhist, man. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, but that makes me emotional to think that I, that thing mine, is mine's always a series of starts <laughs> <laughs> yeah i just have so much stuff i i yeah. want to do it's never ending so i've uh i have a different outlook on life i yeah i i have so much i want to do it's a huge list and i don't have time yeah that's the problem i need immortality <laughs> I need it now. I need, need lengthened telomeres. Of, that elixir of life. You That's know. right. But you can't. You can't do that. <laughs> you just have to use what you have, and do the most important thing to you at at any given time. Yeah. A time knife. Yeah, go. dude. We need that fucking knife from. So, somebody get on that. <laughs> we need the knife from uh, from Prince of Persia. That's right. Yeah. That's what we need. Maybe it just rewinds time and doesn't rewind him. Yeah, that is true, and it only rewinds fifteen seconds, so it's not oh, you can't really do not a lot. Yeah, but dude, if you're going for high scores, oof, good oof. stuff. Yeah, you can it's like find a big high score thing, go ding ding. Yeah, ding. keep going back, and you know. Yeah. Uh, thanks everybody for tuning in for yeah. the last show of the year we'll be back in a couple weeks um, RC70 Melitin Buddhist it's 1 Lem McAllister Spiceware I suppose the uh, Repentless VG Caf, Caf, Man 2D I love it Cafe Man 2D uh, Lem McAllister Nathan Strum uh, Carl G um, who else a lot of the same people talking Thrust 26 Arena Foot uh arena foot a real cafe man yeah uh, who changed his name dios kilos 80 uh, looking for other names the d train 37 oh and that's the end that's of all the we got scroll i'm sure back. there was more than that guys. there was um, there was a bunch that uh, came and went so thank you so much for tuning in yeah uh thank you spice word later and uh we'll be back on what did i say be back on january 3rd um of course i'll let everyone know when we're back in yeah the forums on the uh facebook pages that i normally post to so you'll all be alerted and also make sure you are following us on twitch because that will directly alert you yeah um especially on your phone i don't know how it works on the computer i don't get alerts on on the computer no, no only on the phone so make sure you put it on your phone and it'll go boop yeah man merry christmas to everyone yeah, i hope everyone year. has all the good and and stuff and, and none of the bad yeah no bad enjoy all enjoy the it. food all. and the presents and the get-togethers with people that you like yeah man and, and and happy new year to all of you and happy new year that's right we won't see you till the new year yeah. so we'll see you in 2020 we'll see you in the new decade my friends yeah. so have a good christmas new year's holidays all that see you in 2020 january uh 4th no january 3rd so everybody bye-bye <laughs> bye. bye happy happy festivus bye-bye <laughs>